my new school uniform. I love the cardigan. I don't like my new school shorts. Tim, would you like me to help you? Oh, no, I can dress myself, Mummy. Thanks. Oh, good morning, Topsy. Let me have a look at you. Oh, wow, do you little turn? <laughs> I'm really, 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 really excited. Oh, good. And you look wonderful in your new uniform. Fancy. Amazing. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Oh, Tim. You've got your sweatshirt on back to front. Should we turn oh. it around? Yes. OK, let's get your arms out. And twist round. Perfect. And then pop them back in the sleeves again. Perfect. Let's get your collar out. Oh, you look the perfect schoolboy. OK, breakfast time, twins. Sit down at the table for me. I'm hungry. So am I. Right. Here we go. Oh, actually, maybe I should do the milk today so that you don't spill any milk on your new school uniforms. Thank you, Mummy. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh. What's your message, Mummy? Yes, it's from Grandma. What does it say? It says, hello, Topsy and Tim. Have a lovely day at your big school. Love you lots, both of you. And sending you a big hug or Grandma. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, please can we take a picture of us in our school uniforms and then we send it to Grandma? That is a great idea, Topsy, especially as you've been so careful at keeping your uniforms clean. OK, so ready? One, two, three, say big school! Big school! <laughs> oh, lovely, thank you. I think they'll send that to Dad, too. Yeah, send it to Dad. We like it. You know, Topsy and Tim, Dad's really sorry that he's had to go to work earlier and that he'll be missing walking you to school on your first day. You carry on eating up, though. After breakfast, we go up to the bathroom to brush our teeth. Topsy, not on your new uniform. Oh, dear. At least it's only a little bit of toothpaste. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could have been much worse. <laughs> Let's get that off. It's coming off fine. Here we go. Oh, Mummy, look! Oh, Tim. <laughs> That's really big bit. <laughs> That's much worse. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. Thanks, Mummy. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. I win. Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, perfect. I'm ready for school. Oh. Who's that? What's that? <gasps> Dad! Dad! <laughs> oh. I made it in time. It's your first day at school, could I, stop seeing Tim? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dad. Oh, and when Mummy sent me your photo, you look so smart in your school uniforms, I dashed back home from work. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's all go to school together. Are you ready, Topsy and Tim? Yes! Yes. Yeah. Topsy, I feel a little bit funny in my tummy. But, Tim... We've got that promise to keep, remember? Oh, yes, I'm excited about our promise. <laughs> Come on, then, off we go. We promised our friend Mr Rosen that we'll wave to him every day on our walk to school. Now we're off to keep our promise. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Bye, Topsy and Tim. Enjoy your first day at school. Thank you. Thank you, we will. Come here. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Are you riding your bikes to school? No, we're walking. So we can wave to our friend, Mr Rosen, on the footbridge. We promised. <laughs> OK. See you at school, Josie. 
This is it. We're on our way to big school. <laughs> we count the steps up to the top of the footbridge. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32! Yay! And we want a train going underneath. Look! Look at that one! Whoa! Whoa! Swimming carriages! Whoa! Then we point out Mr Rosen's window to Dad. That's his window! Look! There, Dad! He's not there. Do you think he's forgotten about our promise? Well, maybe Mr Rosen just hasn't got out of bed yet. But he promised. Mr Rosen did promise. He is there! Look! Look, he's there! <laughs> I'm ready to go to school now. Mm. So am I. When we get to the school gate, we see lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery are there. Andy Anderson! Oh, and Steve Dalton! Hey. Hello, Andy Anderson! We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Kerry! Ooh. Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! 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 <laughs> Have a lovely day. Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will! This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. Hello, are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today was our first day at big school. Can you remember the colour of our new school book bags? Were they blue? Or were they red? The answer is behind the jigsaw pieces. Look, the answer is blue. Watch this. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. I win. <laughs> well done. No, perfect. I'm ready to school. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Who's <coughs> here? Did you finish your lunch? I'll go and answer the door. Okay. We love it when our friend Mr Rosen comes round. He always has good ideas and things to do. Hello, Topsy and Tim. 
Well, it's a, well, it's a wheelchair, Hi, isn't it? I need it to help me get around. Hello, Tim. Do you like sight, Mr. Rosen? Yes, a bit. Mr. Rosen had a fall. I did, and I had to go to hospital. But don't you worry, I'll be up and about walking very soon. <laughs> and there's lots of fun we can have when I'm in a wheelchair. Um, do you have a ball? Oh, yes, I'll get it. Topsy, give me a push. Yes! <laughs> Over here. Yeah, that's oh, good. This is fun. Yeah, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it like yes. a roller coaster Excellent. on there? Very good. I'm just waiting for the catalog, Mr. Rose. Would you oh, like a cup of tea? Oh, thank you. Lovely, Joy. Thank you. Oh, very good, Topsy. Oh. Tim, perfect. That's just right for my special Oops. exercises. Special exercises? Uh, special exercises? The doctors told me I had to do exercises to stay strong and get fit again. <laughs> now we can go back into the living room. <laughs> Bring the ball, Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. To the right, Topsy. To the right. Straight ahead. This is a Straight ahead. Space. You're all right. Left. Left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Left. Wonderful. Here we go. That's it. Oh, that's it. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Oh, now, give me the ball, Tim. Here you go, Mr. Rosen. Thank you. If I do this with the ball, right? Up and down again. Up and down again. It keeps my arms strong. Here's your tea, Mr. Rosen. I'll just oh, pop it up thank here. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Now, Topsy, your turn to try my special exercises. Uh, up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, down. Right, team's Let's next. Catch. <laughs> Do you have any more special exercises, Mr. Rosen? Ah, well, uh, there's the touchy finger exercise. The touchy finger exercise? Yes, What's it's that? to make my fingers strong so that they can do things like, uh, like hold a cup of tea. You see, you touch your fingers to your thumb one at a time. One, one. two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great work. You'll have strong fingers too. <laughs> oh, there's one more important exercise. This one's for my legs. Uh, I'll need a bucket and, uh, oh, some of those building blocks. I'll get the building blocks. I'll get the bucket. Oh. <laughs> Box. Okay, Mr. Rosen. That'll be fine, Doctor. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here it is. Well done, Tim. Now, can you hang it on my foot, please? Yes, I think so. Perfect. Okay. Yes, those are okay. Drop a couple in the bucket, please, Topsy. Okay. Oops. That's it. And put the bucket back. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now then. That's enough, that's fine. Are you ready? Yeah. Up, down. Up, down. It's good for my legs, you see. <laughs> good work. Do you think that a touchy little moon bunny will be able to have a ride in the buckets as well? Why not? All aboard! We'll get them! We'll get them! He must be a little bit tired. He's still not very well, you know. And maybe if he has a little sleep, he'll be able to play with you a little bit more later. Out we go. There you we go. were having fun. Yes. I know, but just let him rest and you can play with him a bit more later. I want to make Mr. Rosen a get well card. No, Topsy, we can make him a get well bucket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, great idea, Tim. 
I'll get my make do my make and do box out. A special bucket. It takes a long time for us to get Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. Lovely Topsy and Tim. Hello. Oh. oh, hello, Mr. Rosen. I'm so sorry. Did I go to sleep? It's <laughs> all right, Mr. Rosen. What have you got there? Well. Oh, what's that? It is an exercise bucket. It's a special one that we've decorated. It's for you, Mr. Rosen. Oh. It's a get well bucket. Thank you. It's beautiful and useful. I'm going to use it every day to do my exercises and think of you two, Topsy and Tim. I hope your legs get better soon, Mr. Rosen. Well, Tim, it does take a bit longer to get well again now that I'm older. <laughs> and that's what Mr. Rosen said. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school, Topsy and Tim. And do you know why? No. Well, I can stand at my window and see the children walk to school over the footbridge. And I'll be able to watch and wave to you both from my window every day uh, when my legs are better. <laughs> and we'll wave to you every day from the footbridge on the way to school. We promise. promise. We really, really promise. And I promise too. <laughs> That'll be something really nice for me to look forward to. Oops. Now, now, let's use my new get well bucket and start some more exercises, right? Yeah. Let's and that said, Mr. Rosen, what's that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, our friend Mr. Rosen came round in his wheelchair. Can you remember what we made for him? Was it a get well bucket? Or a get well card? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a get well bucket. Watch this. A get well bucket? Yes, we can stick things on it and decorate it. Oh, yeah, great idea, Tim. I'll get my make and do, my make and do box out. A special bucket. It takes a long time for us to get Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. Eyes tight shut. We're five today. Yeah. Are you peeking? No. <laughs> Mummy and Dad have a surprise birthday present for us in the garden. Double, double, triple promise. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Tom, see, Tim, you can open your eyes now. <gasps> Happy <gasps> birthday! A house! <laughs> a playhouse! <laughs> Do you like your playhouse, twins? Yes! And look at the front door. This house belongs to... Ta and Ta. 
Good talk, TNT! This is the best birthday present ever! <laughs> Thank you! Hello! Hello! <laughs> I can't wait to show Tony Welch our new playhouse. Well, you'll be able to at your party later. Yay! <laughs> it's a birthday! We're going to play musical chairs at our party and it's our job to find enough chairs. I find the chair in the porch that we sit on to take off our muddy shoes. Topsy! I find Mummy's spinning office chair. <laughs> Everyone's going to want the spinning chair. and Tim because we're opening the presents after the party, remember? <laughs> Thank you so much for the extra chairs, Dominique, but we still need more chairs for the party. Yeah! Yeah, we're playing musical chairs! <laughs> yes, we are! <laughs> Thank you. We play musical spinning chair while we wait for our party to begin. <laughs> oh, okay. Who's Mummy? Is it Tony? No, it's Mr. Fenn from next door. Hello, Mr. Fenn. Hello, Hello Joy. Hi. Hello, Mr. Fenn. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Topsy. <laughs> it's a spinning chair, Mr. Fenn. Yes, I got an urgent message. You needed more chairs for your party. Huh? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So is this going to be your chair for the party table? No. I think my friend Tony Welch would like this spinning chair best. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. You take it in there, Tim. Good boy. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Fenn. Right. See you later. Yep. Bye. Soon, we have enough chairs for all our friends. But we need two more for us. Someone give me a hand, please. Oh, thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Two more chairs for the birthday girl and boy. Can you give me a few socks? I'll help. Now, we are ready for the party. And just in time. Happy birthday, twins. Oh, Tony, I'll take those. Thank you. In you go. Happy birthday, Tony. Once everyone's arrived, we play our musical chairs game. Who's ready to play musical chairs? Me! wins the musical chairs prize and you get your special <laughs> prize everybody the winner everybody smile again or say cheese there's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table and lots of food for a big surprise. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. Oh, <laughs> then we played more games. 
and it was time for our friends to go home. Before Tony Welch goes home, I take him out to the garden to show him our new birthday present. I can see my dad! Hi, Dad! Happy birthday, Tim. Nice house. Thanks. Tony can come and play in it all the time. Please, Dad. Please, Mr Welch. We won't be at the same school, but we will still be best friends. And that's when Mr Welch said, Tony can come and play as often as he likes. Tony can come and play as often as he likes, Topsy and Tim. As long as your mummy and dad say it's OK. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> In fact, why don't I put another T just here? Be um tough for Topsy and tough for Tim and tough for Tony. Yes, yes. The house can belong to all three of us, Tony. Yes. Yeah, high five. High five. In here. In here, guys. <laughs> Come on, Tony. It's time to go. Come on. Oh, thanks for inviting me to the party. Happy birthday, Topsy. Happy birthday, Tim. Don't forget your party bag, Tony. Good luck at your new school. Tony will be back to play before you know it. <laughs> come up here, Mummy! Yeah. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? that? to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today was our birthday party. Can you remember who won the game of musical chairs? Was it Tony Welch? Or was it Andy Anderson? The answer is fine because the rabbit. The answer is Tony Welch. Watch this. Only three chairs left. Oh, 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 oh. it's a bit of a squash. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Tony Welch wins the musical chairs prize. And you get your special prize. Everybody, the winner! Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. So, in this box there... Mummy and Dad bought us twin swings for our new garden as a special treat. And now we've got to build them. Oh, don't forget the bolts, Dad. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Topsy. These ten bolts are very important, I so I'll keep them safely in my pocket until we need them to build the swings. Thank you. Thank you. Right, close it back up again. Oh, oh! There we go. Now we need to move this box into the garden. Come on, one, two, three! Dad, do you think we could build this before Tony Welch and Kerry gets here? I don't think so, Tim. There's a lot to do. Let's try and pick it up again. Come on. Oh! It's a good job you're here. We could do with a hand. Carson is a firefighter and he's very strong. Can you help us build our new twin swings, please, Carson? Oh, yes. Carson shows us all how to lift a heavy box safely. Sure. Right, everyone, if you keep your back straight and bend your legs. Uh, 
Ready? One, two, three. Which one? You carry on. Oh, no, put down. 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 Hello, everyone. Tony. I can't stop, but these flowers are for your lovely new house. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll be back to collect Tony just before six, Joy. OK, lovely. Thanks again for the flowers, Elaine, and you can have a proper look at the new house later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> OK, Tony. Get ready to let the twin swings into the garden. Fireman's lifting. Oh, Max, one. Right, everyone. I can't get my yep. legs. Yep, I Two, got them. three, go! We all watch and wait for the twin swings to be built. And Dad counts the long bars, the short bars, and the seats. Can we help? No, sorry. Building twin swings is a job for grown ups. Oh. Ooh. But you could help us check we've got everything. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> OK, move this. Now, how many long, dark blue bars are there? One. Thank you. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> seven. Eight. Eight long bars. OK. And how many short orange bars are there? One, two... Two. Three. Four. <laughs> and how many seats? Uh, oh, where are they? Uh, um, near? No. Nope. Uh, maybe near. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> One. Yep. Two. Good. Two seats. OK, yeah. pop those down there. And how many bolts? Ten. They're in your pocket, Dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in your pocket. Ryan, have you lost the ten bolts? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. There's a hole in my pocket. The bolts must have fallen through. Oh, don't worry, Dad. That's a job for us. We'll find them. Good. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, Terry. <laughs> uh -huh. Tony and I search the living room. Come on, Tony, if you don't find all the bolts, then the swing's wings won't get built. Here's one. I found a bolt. I found one too. There's a bolt. Where? Dad. Oh, great. Got it. And look, there are two more bolts here in the, the hallway. I've got two and you've got three. That means one, two, three, three four, five, five. five bolts. Carrie and I found two bolts by the back door and now we're searching in the grass. <gasps> Another bolt! Where? Do you see anything else? No. <gasps> oh, look! What? A frog. Where? <laughs> a frog. It's a garden frog. Mm. Try stroking it, Carrie. <laughs> Look, I'm scared he's going to hop off. He won't. Carrie, <laughs> wash your hands if you've touched a frog, please. OK. Look, another bolt. OK, <laughs> now we'll make a plan. <laughs> you get that bolt while I'll go and wash my hands. OK. We've got one, two, three, four bolts! We've got five, five bolts! Harry and I found four. Great! Look, you're four and our five only makes nine. So there's still one bolt missing. Ow! The bolt on the kitchen floor. <laughs> Mummy found the last bolt. Poor Mummy. She tossed on it in the kitchen. Ow! Dad, we found all ten bolts. Yay, Come on then. Well done, team. Carson and Dad used the bolts to build the swings, and I put in the very last bolt. All finished. Oh, good work, Topsy. That's the last bolt fixed. Now, let me check it's nice and tight. Yeah, all 
done. Yay! <laughs> wow! A twin swings! Mm. Great work, team. Now we've got one last job. What? What? We need to test them out. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs> oh. Yeah, very comfortable. Feels good. Yep, yep, safe. OK, who wants to be the first to swing? Me! Only two swing seats, so Carrie, you can go first. Oh, thanks, Topsy. That's really kind of you, Topsy. <gasps> Who's going to try the other one? Tony, Tim. You can go first, Tony. Thanks. I want to have a quick go, Tim. Well done, Tim. Good sharing. And that's when Tony said, I hope my new garden will have twin swings too. I hope my new garden will have twin swings too, Topsy and Tim. What do you mean, Tony? My mum says we're going to move to a new house soon. Oh. Where are you moving to, Tony? Um, I don't know, but it's not around here. It's near Dad's new job. Will you still come and play at our house, Tony? Yes, you've got the best swing. <laughs> yes, so can we have a go? Yes, come on, it's your turn now, Topsy and Tim. Yay! And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we helped Dad build our twin swings. Can you remember what creature Topsy and Kerry found in the garden? Was it a frog? Or was it a snail? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a frog. Watch this. Oh, look. What? A frog. Where? <gasps> a frog. It's a garden frog. Mm. Try stroking it, Kerry. <laughs> I'm scared he's going to hop off. He won't. <laughs> Great game. Good fun. See you soon. Ooh. Hi, Grandpa! Hello! Oh, steady! <laughs> oh, is that a real tree? Yes, a little apple tree. It's a present for you all for your garden. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. I'll take it through. Ah. Tim, come and see! It's quite small for a tree, Grandma. That's because it's a sapling. It's a baby tree, Topsy. Tim, Tim, come and see. Grandma's brought us a baby tree. Where is Tim? He's upstairs in his bedroom. Yeah, Tim's cross because he wanted to play with Tony Welch today. But then I told him that he couldn't because you were coming round with the tree. Ah, uh, I'll go and see him. Okay. Mummy, will that little tree grow apples? Yes, it will. Wait for just one minute, Topsy, and I will show you. Come and have a look on the computer with me. Good girl. Spinny chair. Spinny chair. Right. Oh, you're going to sit on my lap? Yeah. OK. There. Our little tree will grow apples like this. And when it's fully grown, it might even get as big as this. Whoa, that yeah. tree has got a lot of apples. <laughs> It really does. And if we want our little apple tree to get apples like that, we need to dig a big hole in the garden and plant it. <laughs> Please, can we do that now, Mummy? Yes, of course we can. And maybe Grandma and Tim will help us as well. Yes! You get your apron on, cos we'll get mucky, and I will get the boots and the gardening gloves. up 
accept him? Come on, you can tell Grandma. Well, I really wanted to go and see my friend Tony today. Mm. He's moving away and I might not see him again. Oh, of course you'll still see him, Tim. He's not moving far away and you're such good friends. Come on. I know something that will cheer you up. What? I'll show you. Just trust Grandma, OK? I trust your Grandma. <laughs> Come on. Grandma tells me to find Mossy's plastic tub of treats. Here it is. Perfect. I'll have to find another tub for Mossy's biscuits. We need this one today. Why? Because this tub has now become our memory box. A memory box? Yes, a box where we put memories we want to keep forever. Why? Because it's nice to look back and remember happy times. What happy times can you remember sharing with Tony? Lots. I'm going to find great things to put in the memory box. I'll show you. I'll find things upstairs. I've kept two funny things that I did with Tony under my bed. Our cardboard twin Tim, Tony and I danced with it. And our horse's head, made from the welly boot. These are for the memory box, Grandma. Oh, good, but... Oh, dear, look, they're too big. They have to fit inside Mossy's treat tub, remember? Well, they won't fit in. Oh, you just have to find smaller things. Can you just help me clear away the table, Hi, please? Tim. We've been digging in the garden. Take your boots off, Topsy. Good girl, and superwash your hands, please. Let me take your gloves. Good girl. Uh, ah. Tim, you can come and see our baby apple tree in the hole we've dug for it. <laughs> oh, not just yet, Topsy. Tim's busy. He's helping me make a memory box with this. But that's Mossy's treat tub. <laughs> not anymore. I'll buy Mossy a new treat tub. Tim is putting things in this that remind him of happy times. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Oh, I want to help with the memory box. I know what can go in. Oh, your nursery school photo. Oh, look. Everyone came to our house that day. Mm. Oh, yes. Tony's dad took the photo. And look at the funny face Tony's making. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this in. Tim, are you wearing odd socks? Oh, yes. Look. I swapped one of mine with Tony. <laughs> it's got <laughs> a hole in it. Look. <laughs> Tony the toe. I know, Tim. Why don't you put your Tony sock in the memory box? Oh, yeah. And I know what else can go in. Oh. We put lots of fun things in the memory box. I find a piece of the marble run that we made with Tony and Vendor, and I put it in the box. Our memory box is full of happy memories. Done. Done. Oh, really? Oh, right. Well, this memory box is now ready to be hidden. Hidden? <laughs> Why? Well, that's the point of a memory box. You put it somewhere to keep your memories safe. And they stay there till you grow up. Thank you, James. Oh, thank you. And I have a very good idea of the perfect hiding place. Oh, where, Grandma? Where? <laughs> Follow me. Well, he's on first. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, brilliant. Come on. Okay. First, we put the baby apple tree in the big hole that top says dog. Down. Oh, is it in? There we go. Oh, that good. that's good. There we go. Oh, that's it. Now, I tell you what you need to do. We plant our memory box under the tree. Oh, there we are. There you go, memory box. Enjoy your new home. I love where we put our memory box. <laughs> and I love our new apple tree, Grandma. Mm -hmm. box about Tony was just as good as playing at Tony's house. Oh, good. 
Thank you, Jean, for such a lovely, good, fun day. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. It's it really does. good. When we look out of the window, our baby apple tree looks really happy. One day, we might dig up our memory box that's underneath it. But only when we're older and our apple tree has grown. You know, trees take a long time to grow and there won't be apples on there for a few years yet. We've got to wait until the tree gets much bigger. Mm. Like you, Mummy. <laughs> bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> this big! And that's when Grandma said... You, you should, should measure, measure yourselves, yourselves right now. You should measure yourselves right now, Topsy and Tim, and then you'll always know how tall you were on the day you planted your tree in your memory box. Yeah, me, yeah. yeah. And then me, then. Well, um, guess who I am going to measure first? Uh, me? Me. Not Topsy. And not Tim. You. Grandma. Me. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. And that's the mummy. What was that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we planted a tree in our garden. Can you remember what else we planted in the garden? Was it a memory box? Or was it Mossy's ball? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. The answer is a memory box. Watch this. Oh, right. Oh, oh brilliant. Come oh. on. OK. First, we put the baby apple tree in the big hole that Top says dug. Then we plant our memory box right under the tree. Oh, there we are. Great game. Good fun. See you soon. Do you want me to go again? Yes. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Go! Today, our baby sister Danielle is looking after us while Mummy and Dad have gone out together because it's their wedding anniversary. They got married six years ago today. Danielle is helping us make a special cake as a surprise for Mummy and Dad. There we go. Now it looks all fluffy. Oh, yeah, it does. Now, who wants to sieve the flour? Me, me, me! OK, Topsy, you hold it. I'll pour. And Tim, get ready to tap. Go! By the time we'd finished clearing up, the cake is baked and cooled and ready for decorating. Oh, that cake looks really yummy. I know, it tastes yummy as well. When can we decorate the cake? Oh, now. What would you like to decorate it with? Um, I know, maybe... Oh, things that Mummy and Daddy like. Mummy likes... these jammy biscuits. Dad loves chocolate fingers. I'm going to put some chocolate fingers on the cake for Dad. Fantastic, a biscuit cake. <laughs> yeah! Off you go. This will be delicious. Ooh, this is so nice. We make the cake look very special. Here. <laughs> I know, it looks really good, doesn't it? Looks fantastic. Well done, Topsy and Tim. I know how we can make the cake even more special for Mummy and Dad, as it's their wedding anniversary. <laughs> we can decorate the cake like the one on their wedding photograph. Yes, we can make a special wedding cake. With three layers. Yeah. 
please call me Danielle. Oh, sorry, Topsy and Tim, but we don't have time to make two more cake layers before Mummy and Dad get home. We don't need more cake. We can use these. Yes, we can decorate a plate each and then put them on the cake like this. That's a yeah. brilliant idea, Topsy and Tim. I'm going to decorate my cake upstairs in my room. I'm going to do my here. I draw a picture of Mummy and Dad on my plate. Oh, great picture, Topsy. Well done. Thank you, Danielle. I make a foam plate. Tim! Come and see my plate! Look at my plate, Danielle. Oh, that's beautiful, Topsy. Well done. Now go and wash your hands and we'll make it stand up on the cake. Okay. Can you bring your plate down now, please, Tim? Come on, Tim! Oh, that's brilliant, Tim. There we go. Wow, your plate is really good, Topsy. You've both done so well. There we go. How are we going to make our plate stand up on the cake, Danielle? Well, I thought we could use these chocolate fingers, but first of all, you have to wash your hands, please, Tim. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Pop that on there. OK, Topsy, if you want to get first chocolate finger, and we're going to put it here. There. There we go. Make a nice hole. That's perfect. Where should I put it? I'd like you to put that there. Here. That's fantastic. Oh. Try and balance it very gently on top of the chocolate fingers. Great! Yes! How's that? Brilliant! Another one. Just... There. There. There we go. Nice and gently. So it doesn't all fall down. Ooh. That's perfect. There. This looks really good. Let's try and put my phone plate on. Yay! Oh! <laughs> try again. <laughs> oh, I think that one's wonky. Yay! Oh! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well done, Topsy and Tim. Over here? <laughs> We've got a special anniversary wedding surprise. Oh, it's in here. Look. A surprise? What is this? Oh, oh, <gasps> Liz! Oh, <laughs> wow! Look at this cake. Oh, my goodness. It's got all our favourite biscuits. We made <laughs> yeah. it like your wedding cake. Oh, thank you. Hi, Danielle. It's fantastic. I want to take a picture of it. <gasps> uh... Oh, thank you very much for helping them, Danielle. Oh, they did really well. Oh, I'll tell you what, do you want me to take one of you four for Let's you? Get... Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Danielle. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Squeeze them. Oh, OK, here we go. I'm going to say, Why don't you go there? OK. 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 Yummy, yummy cake. Oh, thank you. Oh, hang on a minute, sorry. Oh. It's, uh, well, it's Grandpa calling. You all go and eat. I'll, um, I'll be back okay. in a minute. Let's have a slice. Yay. Get a plate. There you go. We can't eat the plate, Dad. We can't eat the plate. He's a slice. Danielle eats a slice of cake and then goes home. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Mummy's on the phone for a long time. It's taken you ages to make this. Not too long, Not so long. Danielle. Oh, she was good, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Look, Danielle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, sorry, gang. Here's your cake, Mummy. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Mm, yum. Mm. Mm. What did Grandpa say, Mummy? Is everything all right? Not really. Granny Molly's had a little fall. Oh, but don't worry. I know, but don't worry. She's fine. She's just hurt her arm a little bit. But she's been in hospital and she needs to rest at home. Oh, poor Granny and Grandpa. Mm. Hope she gets well soon. Mm. And that's when Mummy said... I'm going to stay with Granny Molly and Grandpa next week. 
So I am going to go and stay with Granny Molly and Grandpa next week, Topsy and Tim. We don't want you to go. We want to come or you can just stay. Can we come? Oh. Don't go. No, listen, you'll be fine. I need to go up and, get, and help them out. I've got to catch the train. But Dad will take good care of you two. <gasps> Hang on. If I'm looking after you two, who's going to look after me? We will! We will. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Be good for Dad next week, OK? We will. We will, <laughs> Mummy. Good. Now, guess what? What? This is the best cake I have ever tasted. So I think we should all have another Yay! one. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we made a special cake for Mummy and Dad. Can you remember what Tim made for the top layer of the cake? Was it a farm plate? Or was it a dinosaur plate? The answer is fine, Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a farm plate. Watch this. I draw a picture of Mummy and Dad on my plate. Oh, a great picture, Topsy. Well done. Thank you, Danielle. I make a farm plate. Look at my plate, Danielle. Oh, that's beautiful, Topsy. Well done. Now go and wash your hands and we'll make it stand up on the cake. Can okay. you bring your plate down now, please, Tim? Danielle. Oh, that's brilliant, Tim. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. is putting heavy things onto our new next-door neighbour, Mr Fenn's driveway. It's very noisy! <laughs> oh, look, there's Mr Fenn! Tim. Hello, Joy. Hello, Mr. Fenn. Hello. Hello, Mr. Fenn. <laughs> What's that crane cutting on your drive, Mr. Fenn? That's bricks. Yeah, I'm doing some building today with those bricks. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I've got, I'm going to get my builder's hat. I've got one just like yours. Oh, I think it's in the kitchen, Tim. Oh, okay. Great. Is that okay, John? Yeah, of course. I'm ready. Please may I go and watch the crane with Mr Fenn now? Yes, of course you can, Tim. But do exactly as Mr Fenn says and wear your hat at all times to stay safe, OK? OK. Bye. <laughs> the crane is very big and very loud. What are you going to do with all those bricks, Mr Fenn? I'm building a driveway. Look. So... This is my driveway, where I park my car. Today, we're going to build more driveway here, so Mrs Fenn gets somewhere to park her car. Hello, Mrs Fenn. Hello, Tim. You look like a proper builder in that hat. I am a proper builder. <laughs> oh, there goes the crane. Let's give it a wave goodbye. Bye. All right, let's get Topsy out so we can start building, OK? OK. Topsy can't find a builder's hat like mine. So she wears a fireman's helmet instead. I like your helmet, Topsy. <laughs> I like yours too, Tim. <laughs> you two look great. All right, my busy builders. These are my bricks. Yes? They're special building bricks for building a driveway. That's correct, Tim. Absolutely. So, first job, can you help me take all the plastic off them? 
Yeah? yeah. Ready? All right, let's go. Mr. Exactly. So the new driveway is going to match the old driveway. Yeah. Hello, hello, Mr. Finn. Ah, hello, Eric and Joe. Hello. Here are my builders. Lads, I want you to meet Topsy and Tim. They've just joined the building team. Hello, hello Topsy, Topsy and Tim. Tim. <laughs> hello, Eric and Joe. Hello. hello. Ah, now, I can see your next job, you two. Can you make a nice cup of tea, put them in these flasks for Eric and Joe? OK. All right. I'll help you. <laughs> Thank you. And can we have a biscuit too for Elk and Joe, Mummy? Yes, of course we can. Come on. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Take care, you too. When we filled the flasks and got the biscuits, Mr Fenn and his builders come round to have tea in our porch. We have biscuits too. Right, come on, team. <clears throat> We've got to get to work building my driveway. Thank you for the tea. Thanks for the tea. Oh, Thank welcome. you very much, Topsy and Tim. Now, be careful, Topsy and Tim, and listen carefully to what Mr Fenn tells you to do, OK? We will, Mummy. <laughs> Hold that broom for me, please. Builder Tim. OK, Mr Over Fenn. here. Builder Topsy over here. Yes, Mr Fenn. <laughs> Can you hold this broom for me, Topsy, and get ready to sweep some sand off the top of this pile over towards Tim, OK? When Topsy sweeps the sand over to you, both of you are then going to sweep the sand into the gaps in between the new bricks of my driveway that Eric and Joe have laid. All right? OK. Come on, then. Sweep a bit off. Very good. And Tim, and Topsy, need lots more sand. Well, yeah, it's OK. Vroom, vroom. Now, make sure you fill all the gaps, yes? Yeah? Sweep it into even the smallest gaps. We will. Good. So the bricks don't wobble and the weeds won't grow. OK. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Hi, Mummy. I Hi. think the new driveway is looking very good. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Joy. And Topsy and Tim are being very helpful. I want to do building all day, Mummy. Well, after lunch, you can come back out and help again. But right now, you must be hungry. We are. We are. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, let me take those brooms off you. And enjoy your lunch. Nice work, guys. Come on. We had pasta for lunch, but all we could talk about was building. The bricks would be in a straight line. Oh, good. Mummy, please, can I go and see what the builders are doing now? You finished? Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, Topsy. OK, you can go and see. <laughs> Topsy, I've got something for you. <gasps> mm -hmm. Come on in, I'll make some room for you. Mr. Fenn comes round with a picture that shows where all the bricks go. It's here. Can we roll this down here? Oh, oh, okay. Look at that, huh? Yeah. It's a garage. Yeah, that's right. It's Your a pattern. Your driveway's a pattern. Uh huh. So, Eric and Joe followed this pattern to lay all the bricks in my new driveway, but. I have one last job that I need you two, Topsy and Tim, to do. And I have one last brick. So, my busy builders, would you please help me to place the final brick in my new driveway? Yes! Please! Excellent. I'll get my builder's hat! <laughs> Here you go. Oh, careful. There you go. Come on, I'll watch you. That. <laughs> oh, uh, we mustn't drop the brick, Tim. No. No, it will hurt if it falls on your toes. <laughs> now, look, there is one final brick missing. Yeah. Let's put it in together, Topsy. Yeah. Oh, careful, Tim. <sighs> okay. After three. One, two, three. Ooh. <laughs> pat, 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 pat. All right, pat, let's stand pat, back pat, and have a look. We've built the driveway! We've built the driveway! 
Yes, yes you, you have. Thank you, my busy builders. Yes, you have. Well done, Topsy and Tim. Can't wait to show Dad when he gets home. Oh, yes, yes. And that's when Mr Fenn said, I might do some other building job soon. I might do some other building job soon, Topsy and Tim. Great! Can we be busy builders with you again, Mr Fenn? Please, double please! Of course you can. Yay! <laughs> you are now part of Mr Fenn's building team, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we helped Mr. Fenn build his driveway. Can you remember the colour of Tim's builder's hat? Was it yellow? Or was it blue? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. Topsy can't find a builder's hat like mine. So she wears a fireman's helmet instead. I like your helmet, Topsy. <laughs> I like yours too, Tim. <laughs> you two look great. All right, my busy builders. These are my bricks. Yes? They're special building bricks for building a driveway. That's correct, Tim. Absolutely. So, first job, can you help me take all the plastic off them? Yeah? Yes. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Shoes on, please, Topsy and Tim. Yes, Mummy. Tony Welch's dad is coming with us to nursery school today. He's going to take a photo of us all on our last day. Hi, Paul. Hi, Tony. Come on in. Hi, Joy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mrs. Odo. Oh, hi. hi, Tony. Hi, hi Tony. Mr. Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you wearing your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> What's that? Well, this is a tripod. It makes my camera nice and steady so I can take a really good picture of all of you. We made a biscuit for you. One because we wanted to thank you for taking our picture today. It's very nice of you. Look at this. It's shaped like the sun because we hoped it would be sunny for our nursery school photo today. Oh, I hope so too. Let me have a try. Mmm. Oh, very nice. Here you go. You pop it on. Okay. Let's play cat. Just to me, Tony. That's me, Topsy. Oh, it's Miss Maypole. Hello. Oh. Come on, Tim. No, no, we were just about to leave. Oh. OK. Oh, dear. OK, well, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I'll tell everyone here. OK, thank you, Miss Maple. Bye. What did Miss Maple say, Mummy? She said that they've found a wasp's nest in the roof of the nursery school building. Wow! Oh, cool. And she's very sorry, but Tiddlywink's nursery school will be closed today. Oh, Bye. that's a shame. Bye. Well... If you find a wasp's nest in a building, you can't let children go in and play there. Miss Maple needs to keep the nursery as safe as possible. Mm, of course. But it was our last day of nursery school today. Oh. And now my dad can't take our class photo. It's not fair. I know. Tony, you could stay here and play with us. Yes, we can have the last day of nursery school at yeah. our house. <laughs> And if you got all your nursery class round, then I can still take this picture of you. Yes! Come on, Mummy. Please, double, <laughs> double please! <laughs> I think that is a brilliant idea, Topsy and Tim. I'll call Miss Maple straight away and ask her to invite everyone here for the last day of nursery school. Yes! <laughs> Miss Maple says yes. She'd love us to hold nursery school at our house. And she arrives with all our friends. And we do circle time as usual. OK, Topsy, why don't you stand up, have a think about it, and tell everyone what makes you really happy at nursery school. What makes me happy at nursery school is... 
Playing with all my friends. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Thank you very much, Topsy. OK, Kerry, your turn. Stand up and tell us what makes you happy. What makes me happy at Lesby School? I love story time about funny animals who can talk. Oh, I like those too, Kerry. Thank you very much. Um, your turn now, Tim. What makes me happy about nursery school is... snack time. <laughs> <laughs> we all like snack time, don't we? Well, if we're very lucky, maybe we'll have snack time soon. Well, if Miss Maypole agrees, we could have snack time now. <gasps> what yes, do you think? Please. Yes, yes, please. Thank you very much. I wonder what we're going to have today. Very special treat from Topsy and Tim's mummy. Topsy and Tim have made you all biscuits. Oh. <laughs> Here you are, Kerry. Mm -hmm. I want a biscuit. Yeah. All our friends take a biscuit each. Then there's just the smiley biscuit left. It's Miss Maple's special biscuit. This is for you. The smiley face biscuit. It's beautiful, thank you so much. It's smiley just like just like you. Oh, thank you very much, Topsy and Tim. Mmm. Okay, who'd like a drink? Me! Me oh, lovely. What are we going to do after we've had our drinks and biscuits, Miss May? Oh. Well, if we're very good and finish our snack time, I've got a very special idea. Hold Here we go. Hold it nice and tight. There you go. Miss Maple wants us to make a big handprint picture in the kitchen. Mummy finds some paper and we get our paints out. Topsy goes first. of all of our handprints. Oh, Lovely, good girl. Look at my hands, Mum. Well, made them all clean now. Perfect and clean. Go on, show Miss Maple. Oh, let's see. Miss Maple, I wash my hands. Sparkling, perfect. You can come and help go me on, take this out to the garden. Go. Off you go, Vinda. Go and wash the your garden. hands. The garden. The garden. Why the garden? Because Tony's dad is going to take a special class photograph for us out in the garden. Yay! Really carefully, Topsy. Brilliant. We're ready for the photograph. We get ready to have our photo taken on the patio. Come on, everyone, quickly, quickly. That's it, make sure we all get on. That's... Come on, underneath, that's it. Everyone peep their heads over. We all got our hands on it. Fantastic. OK, well, that'll be perfect. OK, I am ready when you are. Dad, take the photo. Yeah, Dad, Tim's still washing his hands. Don't worry, Tony. Tim will be on the photograph. You all will be. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Now we are all ready for our nursery school photo. I'm ready. Thank you, Topsy and Tim, and your mummy too, for inviting us all to spend the last day of nursery school here. You've been such a special class, and I wish you all a very happy time at big school. Now, everyone, look at the camera, and let's say... Tiddlywings! Tiddlywings! Oh, look, that's perfect. Oh, it's lovely. OK, let's do some more. Right, everyone say Tiddlywinks again. Here we go. On three, one, Ready, two, everyone? three. After everyone has gone home, Tony's dad shows us the photos. I like that one where we're all pulling funny faces. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? I liked having the last day of nursery school at our house. I feel sad that we're never going to go to Tiddlywinks Nursery School again. Oh, but you'll feel happy when you all go to big school together. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait till I go to Hatcham Primary School with all of my friends. Oh, look at that one. That's a really good one. And that's when Tony said, I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you. I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you, Topsy and Tim. Why? Why? Um, I'm moving house, so I'll, go, I'll be going to a different big school, won't I, Dad? Yes, that's right, Tony. Our new house is too far away from Hatcham Primary School, so we're going to take Tony to a different school instead. It's not fair. 
know you feel sad, but we'll still see Tony lots. We'll make sure of it, won't we, Paul? Yes, of course, I promise. At the weekends? Mm -hmm. In school holidays? <laughs> Forever! <laughs> 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 Let's dance! You really, really, never, really, never. really are yes, great yes, friends. Yes, 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 yes. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, all our friends from nursery school came round. Can you remember what Tony Welch was wearing? Was it his football kit or was it his new school uniform? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. The answer is his football kit. Watch this. Hi, Joy. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Hello Mrs Odo. Hi. Hi, Tony. Hi, 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 Mr Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you dressed in your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. We're playing indoors today. OK, well, look, can you just calm down a little bit? Lunch is nearly ready. I've got tomato soup and ham sandwiches. Oh, yum, yum! Yummy, 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 yummy. Thank you. <laughs> what should we play next? Oh, no, you hide, and when the person looking for you gets near you... Boo that! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, hide and boo. You both hide, and I'll count, OK? Oh! Come on, Tony. Go, go, go. She'll be really sad. And cross. I think it was her favourite vase. Top for you, Tim. Tony, lunch is ready. Oh. We'll try and fix it after lunch. And if you can't fix it, we'll... Then we will tell Mummy. In everybody, I've made you some cheese and ham sandwiches just for you, Tony, because I know that they're your favourite. Thanks, Mrs. Logan. Oh, you're welcome. You're all very quiet. Is everything all right with you, Tim? Yummy. Are you okay? Maybe you should play something a little bit calmer this afternoon. How about some drawing? Mm -hmm. 
Thanks for lunch, Mummy. Please, can we go and do some making upstairs? Of course you can. We're all glad when lunchtime is over. Come on. Thanks for lunch, Mrs O'Dell. Sorry we run very hungry, Mummy. Well, that's OK. You can show me your pictures when you finish them later. Now it's time to mend Mummy's vase. We try to stick the broken piece back on the vase with glue from my make and do box. No. But it's hard to do it. I'm going to try clay now. Sticky tape yet? Oh yes! I'll do the cutting and I'll hold this. Okay, you you do that and I'll put the big pieces. The big piece first. So where does it go? Another piece. And look, let's put this round here. Yes! We're nearly done. Done in three, two, one, done! Yes! It looks all messy. Um, <laughs> Mummy's going to see the tape. Oh, Mummy's going to be really sad. I know. We can colour it in. Yes. Cheers. Quick, Mummy's coming. Mm. Thought you'd all like a drink. Um. Thank you, Mummy. Oh, what's she making? Uh, um, uh, we haven't decided yet, Mrs. O'Dell. No, we haven't. Okay. Well, you all look very busy. <laughs> okay. You should tell Mummy now. I know. Cut the vase. I know. Mm. We've mended it though. Let's just put it back on the whole table. We carry the vase back downstairs and into the hall. Hello, gang. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hello, Mr. O'Dell. Where's my big hello, Dad? <laughs> now, where's Mummy? I bought these for her. Hello. <gasps> oh. Mm -hmm. I bought you these to say happy wedding anniversary, Joy. Oh. Mwah. Thank you, Brian. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Is it your wedding anniversary? Today? Yeah. We've been married for six whole years. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I'll put them in a vase. Oh, that's odd. Where's my vase gone? Um, we broke it, Mummy. We're sorry. We're really sorry, Mummy. We should have told you. We tried to mend it. Look. You're right. You should have told me straight away and then we could have all fixed it together. Not like this. Sorry, Mummy. Sorry, Mummy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Oh, O'Dell. Oh. That's OK. Do you know what? Accidents happen. OK? <sighs> I bet no-one else has a vase quite like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tony went home and Mummy mended the vase properly with some special grown-ups glue. And then Mummy and Dad got all dressed up. Flowers look lovely there. Oh, you look so pretty, Mummy! Oh, thank you. <laughs> because it's our anniversary, twins, Mummy and I are going to go out for a treat. And you two are going to get a treat too. Yeah. And that's when Mummy said... Danielle, Danielle the babysitter, is coming to play with you this afternoon. Danielle, the babysitter, is going to come and play with you both this afternoon. Yay! Yeah. Danielle the babysitter. We love her. <laughs> so please try and be good and no more breakages. We promise. We promise. Now, how about an anniversary? Oh. <laughs> and that said Dad was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? 
This is our top scene to memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today was Mummy and Dad's wedding anniversary. Can you remember what present Dad brought home for Mummy? Was it a bunch of flowers? Or was it a box of chocolates? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a bunch of flowers. Watch this. Where's my big hello, Dad? <laughs> now, where's Mummy? I bought these for her. Hello. Oh. I bought you these to say happy wedding anniversary, Joy. Oh, thank you, Chloe, and they're gorgeous. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Stop, 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 stop. We're wearing shoes at bedtime. Stop. Stomping is really noisy. <laughs> I love stomping in my new shoes. Me too. Oh, it's you too. I thought it was a herd of elephants marching down my stairs. <laughs> elephant Topsy and Elephant Tim. Thanks. <laughs> yes, an elephant. So it is us. We came down in our new shoes to say we're ready for stories, please. Oh, OK. Well, I have to say, you both look very smart and grown up in your new school shoes, <laughs> even in your <laughs> pyjamas! <laughs> <laughs> now, can you two please stomp, 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 stomp those shoes back upstairs to your stomp, bedrooms, please? Stomp, 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 stomp. Shoes off and into bed. Oh, we want to wear our shoes on bed, Mummy. Please go, Mummy. Please don't, please. <laughs> no, of course you can't wear your shoes in bed. <laughs> It's not fair. <laughs> Up to bed, please. Stop, stop. Mummy reads us our stories and tucks us in. Then it's lights out and time to go to sleep, as usual. Right, Mummy. Darling, snuggle down for me. Night night, Twintastic Topsy. Night night, Twintabulous Tim. Sleep well. But I can't get to sleep. Tim? I go and see if Tim is awake. Tim? But he's not. Tim is fast asleep. Hi, Joy. I'm so sorry, but I've been called to Dominique. Talk. Can you have Kerry tonight? Yes, of course, no problem. Come on in. Come in, Kerry. <gasps> Sleep. Why is Carrie here? Hi, Popsie. <laughs> Don't worry about that now. And why have you got your school shoes on? Sorry, Mummy. I'm wearing my new school shoes too. Snap! 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 I love you very much. Make sure you're a good girl. I'm sorry I have to go to work. That's OK, Mummy. I love you. You're staying in our house, Kerry! Yeah! Kerry's mum is a nurse. Sometimes she has to work at night in the hospital. Usually, Kerry's dad is at home to look after her. But tonight, he's taking her brother camping. Oh, there you go. I'm going to put it in my room, Mummy. Yes, I think in your room is the best place for Kerry, don't you? Boing, 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 bo
me. Oh, shh. Because remember, Tim is still asleep. We don't want to wake him up. <laughs> What's happening? Why is Gary here, Mummy? We're out of sleep, Papa! Well, can I come? Yeah. Honey, Mummy, please, can Tim come? <laughs> yes, of course you can. Yes, you're going to yeah. sleep, Papa! Mummy moved my mattress into Topsy's bedroom so I could join the sleepover. Come on, your bed's ready. And we all put our new shoes in a row and say good night to them. Night, night. See you in the morning. <laughs> Boing. Right, into bed, you three. It's way past your bedtime. Oh. Okay, Mummy. Are you okay, Kerry? I miss my mummy. Oh, I know. Close your eyes tightly and you go to sleep, okay? That was a good girl. You're being very grown up about having a sleepover in our house. <laughs> in fact, you're all having a very grown up sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle down. Night, night, children. And I'll see you in the morning. Bye, night, night mummy. I feel like I want to put my shoes on. Me too. Me three. Yeah. Down, please. No more talking. It's time to go to sleep, all right? No, no, no. Topsy? Yes. Tim? Yeah. I was scared about coming to your house to sleep, but now I'm really, really happy I'm here. Oh, good. <laughs> we love you being here. <laughs> good. <laughs> Guys? Can I tell you something? Well, I'm scared about going to big school. Why? Why? Well, you two will have each other to play with, and Tony isn't coming to our big school, so I won't have Tony to come and play with us. Oh, I know. You'll always have us. That's not the same. I'm scared too about going to big school, but me as well. But we're all grown up now, so we can go to big school. And, and we'll be fine when we're there. And we will be able to wear our school shoes every single day. Yeah! <laughs> in the end, we finally got to sleep. Mummy has to wake us up in the morning. Good morning, sleepyheads. Mummy. Good morning, Mummy. Hello. Were you okay in the night, Kerry? Yes, thank you, Joy. I loved my first sleepover. <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. You, you are, are very grown, grown up, up now. now. Oh, you are very grown up now, Topsy and Tim. And you too, Kerry. <laughs> Having a sleepover, starting school. And look, Mummy, we wore our shoes in bed. <laughs> 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 you wore your shoes in bed, you silly sausages. <laughs> Come on, it's time for breakfast. And that's the mummy. What was that? that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we had our first ever sleepover. Can you remember who came round to stay with us? Was it Josie? Or was it Carrie? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Carrie. Watch this. Hi, Topsy. Topsy, what are you doing out of bed? 
Oh, I couldn't sleep. Why is Carrie here? I don't see you. <laughs> don't worry about that now. And why have you got your school shoes on? Sorry, Mummy. I'm wearing my new school shoes too. Snap! Snap! Now, are you sure it's OK for Kerry to stay tonight? I couldn't believe it when the babysitter cancelled at the last minute. Oh, honestly, there's no problem. She's welcome any time. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! When Grandma's dog, Mossy, comes round to our house, we play ball. Good girl. Now, catch! Tim, smoothies. I'll be back in a minute. Wash hands, please, Tim. Oh, OK. A little bit of ice for madame. <laughs> <laughs> I love your smoothies, Dad. OK. Ready, <gasps> steady, smoothies! I think Mossy's barking at something outside. Oh, Tim, look, up in the tree. Oh, yes, it looks like Tiger Fluffy Boots, which is Higgly Piggly's cat. Ah, oh, do you think she's stuck? Yes, um, Dad, Dad! What is it? Look, it's Miss Higgly Piggly's cat. We think he's stuck in that tree. That's why Mossy was barking. Oh, yes. We need to go and see if we can help Tiger get down. But will one of you stay with Mossy, please? Oh, I will. I will. Oh, poor old Tiger. Oh, he's really high up. Yeah, he's a good climber. Hello, Tiger. <laughs> oh. I don't think Tiger Fluffy Boots is stuck, Tim. He's happy. Cats love climbing trees. Yeah, there's no need to worry. Tiger will come down when he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Tiger Fluffy Boots. He doesn't like Mossy's barking. Hmm. Let's go indoors and help Tim with Mossy. Tiger Fluffy Boots will come down on his own when the barking stopped. OK, Dad. OK. We take Mossy into the kitchen and she has a drink from her bowl. Okay. Mossy stops barking and we have our smoothies. Smoothies. Mm. Well, 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 well. Mm, these are really nice, Dad, thanks. Mm. <gasps> oh, Mossy! <laughs> yes, I know, Mossy. Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat is <laughs> still up in the tree. Dad! What's going on? Look! Tiger Fluffy Boots is even higher up there now. I don't think he can get down. I think he's really quite stuck now. Can you get him down, please, Dad? Oh, yeah. You can climb the tree and rescue him, Dad. Yes. OK. I'll borrow Mr Fenn's ladder. Oh, yay! Brilliant, Dad! Please, will you both stay inside and play with mushy, noisy pants so she stops frightening Tiger the cat with her barking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, she likes playing with cuddly toys, so... Here, Mossy, you can play with Fluffness today. All right. Here we go. Hey, this should do. OK. We'll soon have the cat down. Don't worry, Tiger. Dad and Mr Ben will get you down. We give Mossy our old teddy Fluffness to keep and she forgets all about Tiger the cat. Brilliant. Come on, Puss. Come on. Come on, come on. Tiger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Nearly, Dad. Nearly. You can do it, Dad. Oh, come on. Come on. Look, there's 
sister's in her mummy. Hi, Josie. Hi. Hi. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Hi. Hi, Hi Mr. Fenn. Oh, hello, Josie. Hi, Marie. Hi. What's going on, Mr. Odell? Mrs. Higgly Piggly's cat stuck up this tree. There, look. Oh, dear, no, he's gone too high up the tree. Sorry, Topsy and Tim, I can't reach Tiger. When Dad called Animal Rescue, they said it wasn't safe for them to climb up so high when a cat gets stuck. They said it was a job for the fire brigade. Wow! wow. Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. <laughs> One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. Oh, I can see the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. That is pitch. Grandma arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Up there, Mrs. Higgly Piggly's cat. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Here he is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'll take him. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> Hello, Tiger. We need to get you back to your owner. She's a friend of mine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mrs Higgly Piggly's house. Grandma phones Mrs Higgly Piggly and tells her the Tiger Fluffy Boots had to be rescued from a tree. And then we take him home. <gasps> Hello, Hello, Mrs Higgly Piggly. Oh, here he is. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so oh. much for bringing Tiger oh. Fluffy Boots back home. <laughs> Why did you go so far up the tree, Tiger? That was my Mossy the dog's fault, wasn't it, Topsy and Tim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mossy barked at you, didn't oh, she? Oh, dear. Oh, Tiger. But we stopped Mossy barking, and then the fire brigade came to rescue Tiger. Mm -hmm. Oh, did it? It was so exciting. Oh, you should have seen what happened. It was, wasn't it? Yes. And that's when Grandma said, I think it's time to go home for tea now. I think it's time to go home for tea now, Topsy <laughs> and Tim. You ready to say goodbye? Bye bye, Mrs. Higgly Piggly. <laughs> See you soon, Tiger like Fluffy Boots. Oh, yes. Bye bye, Jean. Goodbye, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> bye. Bye. Come on. Mossy will be waiting for us at home. And that's it, Grandma. Was that? Doggy biscuits and yeah. tea. Which doggy biscuits would you like to? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tiger Fluffy Boots was stuck up a tree. Can you remember what Dad borrowed from Mr. Fenn to try and rescue Tiger Fluffy Boots? Was it a ladder? Or was it some rope? The answer is fine, Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is a ladder. Watch this. Brilliant. All right. There you go. Come on, Puss. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tiger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me, Dad. Me, Lee. You can do it, Dad. Great game. That was good 
fun. See you soon. Morning, Topsy and Tim. Morning, Dad. Morning, Dad. Mwah. Mwah. It's our first morning in our new house. Guys, can you put them in the dishwasher, please? OK. And we still haven't unpacked all of the boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, new house. <laughs> Dishwasher's over there with Daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the thing we love most of all about our new house is our new pet rabbit. Please, can we go and give our rabbit his breakfast now, Mummy? And your pyjamas? Yes! Please, double, please. Double, triple, please, please. <laughs> All right, just this once. Hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Rabbit! Hello, Bunny! Yesterday, Topsy gave our rabbit its food. Today, it's my day. There we go. And it's my turn to fill up the water bottle. Oh, that's nice, Tim. Let the rabbit smell your fingers and then, then stroke him, OK? Perfect. There's his food. OK, thank you. We need to think of a name for our rabbit. What are you going to call him? Uh, what about... Zebra? Because he's black and white. No, he doesn't look like a zebra. He's more grey than black. And he's too small and snuggly. <laughs> I know, Snuggles! Yes, Snuggles! Snuggles? No. I don't think he likes that name. I like Fluff. Or Twitchy! Yes, we can call him Twitchy! At some point, you two will decide on the perfect name for your rabbit. But right now, you need to get ready for nursery school. Aww. Oh, I want her to care for him. I want her to clean out his heart. And you can do that later. But now Dad's all set to take you to nursery school. No more stroking. I'll put him in his run. So, hop it. <laughs> OK, Mummy. Bye, 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 bye. We'll be back, Rabbit. Come on, Dad, hurry up. When we get home from nursery school, we can't wait to see our rabbit. Scooters in the pot, please. We've told all our friends about our lovely rabbit. Tony Welch thinks we should call our rabbit Jack after his baby brother. Kerry thinks we should call him Moon after my little moon bunny. Boing. Hello. Where is he? <laughs> Mummy! Hey, Dad! Where's, Where's the rabbit? rabbit? Just over here. I'm showing him the garden. Oh. Oh. Hello, Rabbit. Hello. So soft, hey. Mummy. Nice and gentle. Please may I go and clean out the rabbit's hutch now, Mummy. Yeah, of course you can, Tim. Come and help me get the stuff. I can look after him while you do it, Tim. OK, Topsy. Please, can I show the rabbit our living room? Yes, of course you can, Topsy. Let's go inside. OK. Yes! <laughs> Come on! Yay! All that into there, please. Yeah! Very good. So I care for our rabbit in the living room while Tim cleans out his hut. I think he's getting used to me, Mummy. Rabbits don't always like being stroked, so not too much stroking, Topsy. Lunch. Oh, coming. <sighs> now, where should we put the rabbit once we have lunch? I know, I would have thought. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you pull it out, Topsy? I think so. Oh, good girl, let me help. Falling off. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. Oops. There you go, Rabbit. You'll be nice and safe in there once we have lunch. And there's a doorway hole this side. Here you go, Bunny. This is Tiger will look after you. Oh, that's a nice idea, Topsy. Come on, let's go and super wash your hands. Hello, Bunny. <laughs> Hello, Bunny. Absolutely. How about we call the rabbit Patch? Oh. While we eat Dad's special sandwiches, we think of more names. I know. We could call it Lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> or Carrot. <gasps> I've got it. We could call it Peanut Butter. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> You're funny, Dad. <laughs> After lunch, we take our rabbit a little treat. 
and see that he's already hungry. Yes, we nibble at our farts. Mm. We brought some letters for you. And look at this little tiger. <gasps> oh no! It's been nibbled. Oh, he's been gnawing, hasn't he? That's what rabbits do to make themselves feel at home. And to make sure that their teeth don't get too long. Let me grab him. Come on. Ooh, that's a good one. Come here. Whoopsie. And there we go. Hello. You want something to gnaw on, do you, little rabbit? Yeah, he does. I'm going to clean and mend your chewed up wooden foot. To make sure you don't gnaw any more of Topsy and Tim's toys, we'll find you something else to nibble on. Yeah. I know what he needs! I tear up empty cardboard boxes for our rabbit to gnaw on. Oh, yes! He's a recycling rabbit! Here you go, little rabbit! <laughs> Some nibbly gnawing cardboard for you. Oh, that's really good thinking, Topsy and Tim. But old cardboard isn't always very good for, for little rabbits. Oh, okay. oh, but look, I've just remembered that Mr Fishwick sent you something for your new pet. Look. Gnaw sticks for your new pet. Oh, wow. yeah. These will be perfect for our new rabbit. Let's give him one. Wiggly, 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 wiggly nose. <laughs> Hello, Wiggles. <gasps> yes, Wiggles. That's what we should call him. Yes, we can call him Wiggles. <laughs> That's a brilliant name. I wish Carrie could see you, Wiggles. Oh, Carrie will meet Wiggles very soon. <laughs> At night time, Wiggles went to sleep in his bed in our back garden. And we got ready to go to sleep in our beds. Hey, Quince. I just met our neighbours from across the road. Mrs Miller and her daughter, Josie. Mm. They seem very nice. Wait, I've seen a girl over the road that's riding a road bicycle. Is that Josie? Yes. Josie's a bit older than you. She's nearly six. And guess what? Josie is going to come round and play with you tomorrow. Yes! Hey! And that's when Dad says... You are going to make a new friend in our new road. You're going to make a new friend in our new road, Topsy and Tim. Yay! Can we show Wiggles to Josie? Yes, of course we can. Yes. Wiggles? Oh. Yes, that's our rabbit's name. <laughs> oh, I see. Wiggles the rabbit. I like it. Come on, you two, wiggle yourselves into bed. Oh, wiggle, 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 but what kind of animal is Wiggles? Is Wiggles a cat? Or is Wiggles a rabbit? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Hello, rabbit. Hello, bunny. Yesterday, Topsy gave our rabbit its food. Today, it's my day. And it's my turn to fill up the water bottle. Oh, that's nice, Tim. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! OK, can you take those, please, Topsy? OK, Dad. I can't wait to see Mummy. <laughs> Mummy has been visiting Granny Molly, who has been poorly this week. Mummy's going to love these flowers. <laughs> yeah, of course she is. But now Granny Molly's better, Mummy's coming home. We're going to pick her up from the railway station later. When does Mummy's train arrive, Dad? 
at lunchtime, so we need to hurry up and plant these. Through you go, into the kitchen. Thank you. We're planting hanging baskets, either side of our front door. As a surprise for Mummy when she gets home. <laughs> the one for me, Dad. Yeah, of course there is. Oh, good. good. That's yours. Thank you. Dad and I put newspaper on our kitchen worktop. Fold it. There you go. Just the right size, Dad. Yeah. Maybe one more, please. Thank you. Um, why are we gardening in the kitchen? Well, it's not really gardening, Tim. It's making something. We're making hanging baskets. Um, what's the newspaper for? To make sure we don't get too messy. Now, are you ready to plant your very first hanging basket? Yes! Yes, OK. Can you grab the basket for me and put it on the surface? This is very special soil, Tim. It's called compost. Compost? Yeah, now, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> the compost just goes straight through the basket. Yeah, correct. So, we need to put that green lining inside the basket. Thank you. Straight in there. Now, you try putting some more compost in. Okay. The compost is going inside the basket and it's staying in here now. Yeah, well done, Tim. So, you carry on filling the basket up with compost and I'll grab Topsy. Okay. Topsy, can you come and make your hanging basket, please? doing? Really well, look! Oh, very good! Tim shows me how to put the liner and compost in my basket and then I plant my strawberries! Wow! Look Dad, I've got four strawberries on my strawberry plant. Great! And your plant will grow even more strawberries soon. Sunshine and water is all they need. Please, can we pick one and eat one now? No, I know. Let's save them till Mummy gets home later. Yay! <laughs> OK. I can see my Mummy will love eating my strawberries. Topsy, super wash your hands, please. Right, now your hanging baskets are finished. All we need to do is hang them up. Oh, careful, Dad. Ooh. You're dropping compost all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. I know what to do. We need to make... Road! Great idea, Tim! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a rocking road. Yeah. Here's the newspaper. Newspaper road! Coming through. Dad carefully carries our baskets outside to hang them up by the front door. Okay, very good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our hanging baskets are up! And Mummy's going to love them. OK. Do we really need to water the plants now? We've only just made them. Oh, yes. We need to water them every day. Maybe even no, twice a day. Splash me and Daddy. Oh, sorry, Tim. <laughs> it's OK. Yeah, plants get thirsty, especially in summer. OK, thank you. Down you pop. There oh. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go and collect Mummy now, Dad? No, not quite yet, Tim. We're stuck... Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Come on, stop, Tim, we need to go now. Help me tidy up inside and find my car keys. <laughs> Dad drives us to the train station, just in time. Yeah, I'm going to see Mummy first. Oh, hold on to my hands, please, Topsy and Tim. Don't run to the platform without me. Thank you. But the platform is empty. Mummy's train hasn't arrived yet. Oh, no. You see this yellow line here, Topsy and Tim? Mm -hmm. Yes. You must never cross that line. Why, Dad? Well, because the yellow line's there to stop people getting too close to the railway tracks. Mm. Yeah, just like that. Very good. <gasps> Look, Dad! Tim! Oh! Oh! Hanging basket! Can we go and 
what's the man? Yeah, I think he's about to water them. Should we say hello? Yes. yes. Hello. We find out that the man's name is Bob. He works at the station. We tell him we just made our own hanging baskets for Mummy. Hi, Bob. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Would you like to help me water these hanging baskets? Yes, please. We tell Bob we know all about hanging baskets. They need lots of compost, and compost is special soil. And we tell him that you need to water them twice a day when it's warm, because they get thirsty. <laughs> This is fun. <laughs> Good boy. Mm. My go, my go, my go! We all get a little bit wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In the basket, Tomsey. Lovely. Yes, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Come back to Bob. Thank you. Topsy and Tim, I think there's someone here to see you two. Look. Hey! <laughs> oh, I missed you both. Oh my goodness, you're both so wet. What on earth have you been up to? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome oh. home. OK, let's take these back to the car, shall we? As soon as she gets out of the car, Mummy notices our hanging baskets. Oh, wow, look at these. Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing. The flowers are red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. Strawberries. Yes. There were only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. And that's when Mummy said, Oh, it's, it's good, good to be home. home. I've missed you. Oh, it's good to be home. I've missed you, Topsy and Tim. We've missed you. And we've too. missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Welcome home, Mummy. <laughs> Now, let's get inside and wash these strawberries because <gasps> I can't wait to eat! <laughs> and that, said Dad, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we made hanging baskets for Mummy. Can you remember what Topsy planted in her hanging basket? Was it flowers? Or was it strawberries? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is strawberries! Watch this. Red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. Are those strawberries? <laughs> yes. There were only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. Great game. <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon. On the day we started big school, I woke up very early. I was too excited to sleep. anymore. Tim, wake up. We're starting big school today. <sighs> Shh. You'll wake up, Mum. 
Mommy and Dad. It's still really dark outside. Look. Oh, yeah. I can only just see our twin swings from in the bathroom window. I love our twin swings. Me too. Do you remember when Dad built the twin swings and he lost all the bolts? Oh, yeah. And do you remember we found the bolts and you and Kerry found the frog? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, no. There's a hole in my pocket. The bolts must have fallen through. Oh, don't worry, Dad. That's a job for us. We'll find them. Good. Yay. Go, 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 go. Come on, Kerry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tony and I searched the living room. Come on, Tony, if you don't find all the bolts, then the swing's wings won't get built. Here's one. I found a bolt. I found one too. There's a bolt. Where? There. Oh, great. Got it. And look, there are two more bolts here in the hallway. I've got two and you've got three. That means one, two, three, three four, five, five. bolts. Carrie and I found two bolts by the back door and now we're searching in the grass. <gasps> Another bolt! Where? Do you see anything else? No. <gasps> oh, look! What? A frog. Where? <laughs> a frog. It's a garden frog. Mm. Try stroking it, Carrie. <laughs> look. I'm scared he's going to hop off. He won't. Terry, <laughs> wash your hands if you touched a frog, please. OK. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No, I think we're the only people awake in our road. <laughs> Oh, do you think it's Tiger Fluffy Boots? It might be. I hope he's not stuck up in a tree again. Oh, no. Do you remember when we had to rescue him? Oh, yes. I remember. So do I. Wow! Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. Oh, I see the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Right, careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. That is pitch. Grandma arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Okay. Is that Tiger up there, Mrs. Higgly Piggly's cat? Yeah. There you go. Good boy. Him. No. Oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. Tim, I've got an idea. What? Let's get dressed into our school uniforms and surprise Mummy and Dad. So obviously I don't want to. Please, can you go back to your own room? OK. Tim? Please, may I take the number five balloon into my room? Oh, OK, but look after it. We want to keep it forever, don't we? Yes. Our birthday party was really good. Yes, it was the best. All our friends came, remember? Hello. 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 
There's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table and lots of food. Are you ready for a big surprise? Yes. Yeah. Dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. Oh. <laughs> then we played more games and it was time for our friends to go home. Tim, look, I'm getting ready for school. Something. What are you two up to? Topsy couldn't sleep. I'm too excited about going to big school tomorrow. Oh, Topsy. It's far too early for you to get up and put your new school uniform on. I think that you should have another snooze in your own bed with your pyjamas on, OK? OK, Mummy. Good girl. First day of school will be like Topsy. It will be absolutely brilliant. Night, night, Tim. Night, night, Topsy. Mm. And it was good. Starting at our new school was amazing. When we got to the school gate, we saw lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery were there. And Anderson. Oh, and Steve Dunton. We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Gary! Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! 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 <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. We want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will. This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. Whoa. A girl called Josie Miller is coming to our house to play today. Hi, I love squishing boxes. Do you think Josie Miller would like squishing boxes too? Yeah. Show how to squash them. Yeah. Josie lives over the road from our new house. We've seen her riding her bike. So fun! Here's another one. It'll be yes. nice for you both to make a new friend in the road, won't it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that must be Josie. Stay here. <laughs> Hello, Josie! Hi. Hello. Hi, come in, Josie. Hi, Mrs. Miller. I'm Joy. And this is Topsy. Oh, please call me Marie. <laughs> Hello, Topsy. Do you like your new home on Westview Avenue? Yes, I love it. And I love your red bike, Josie. <laughs> Thanks. Come on in, you two. My favourite colour's red. My favourite colour's red too. Snap! What does snap mean? Snap is something you say when two things are the same. Or when you both like the same thing. <laughs> and we both like red. Snap! Snap! <laughs> Tim, Josie's here. Why don't you go and say hi to Tim? Hi, Tim. Hi, Josie. Wow, you've got a lot of boxes. But we could make something out of these boxes. 
I know. That's why I'm squashing them. Do you want to squash rocks? Yes, please. Here you go, Josie. You can squash one with me. I'll do it like this. Orange juice, Josie. Apple, please. Apple is my favourite. <laughs> Apple's my favourite too. Snap! <laughs> Where did you learn to say snap, Topsy? Josie taught me. We say it at school. Wow, you go to school? Yes, I go to Hatcham Primary School. I'm in reception class, but soon I'll be in year one. Wow! We're going to the same school as you, Josie. You'll love it. My teacher was called Miss Terry and we do lots of different things. Reading, numbers, making things. Wow. What kind of things do you make, Josie? We made rabbit pictures today because we're getting a class rabbit. <gasps> We've got a pet rabbit called Wiggles. Do you want to see him? Yes, please. Oh, come on. Topsy, can you just take this to Tim before you go out to okay. Wiggles? OK. Thank you. Here you are, Tim. Doing? I'm going to make something out of these boxes in my room. <laughs> Don't you want to play with Josie and me? Oh, maybe in a bit. Thanks, Topsy. <laughs> Wiggles is so soft. You're really lucky to have him, Topsy. Thanks, Josie. That's enough stroking, girls. Wiggles is getting used to you, Topsy, but he needs his run now. Wash hands, please. OK. Thank you. Come on. Tim, tea's ready. Coming. We have yummy fish fingers, chips and peas for tea. Then strawberries and ice cream. I love strawberries. <laughs> Me too. Snap! <laughs> Josie? You know you said we can make something out of our cardboard boxes? Yes. Well, I've put some boxes upstairs. So do you want to help me make something out of them? Yes, please. This is my last strawberry. Mine too. Snap! Snap! Mm. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely tea, Mummy. Please make me and Josie leave the table. Yes, you may. Come to see. Okay, thanks for my tea, Mrs. O'Dell. You're welcome. Come to see. Look at all these boxes I collected so we can make something. Oh yes, what should we make? Um well I was thinking a robot. Or a rabbit like Wiggles? A rabbit? Yes. We can make them both. You mean a robot and a rabbit? Um, I mean a robot rabbit. That's a brilliant idea, Tim. I've never made a robot rabbit before. <laughs> we could use um, this big box for the body and this one for the head. Oh, yeah. So Josie and I start making our robot rabbit. And I call Topsy upstairs to help us. Oh, yeah. Topsy! Come and see what we're making. And please bring up some wrapping paper and tin foil. <laughs> Mummy gives us some leftover tin foil. And we make the best ever robot rabbit out of old boxes. Pipe cleaners for whiskers. Oh, cool, because I was making a coat. Yeah. 
Josie shows us how to make them curly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rip it, Tim, rip it. Rip it. Mm. Why can't that be like this? No, because they need it a bit smaller. Can I put this blue in the yeah. two blue ones? Let's put some extra ones here, just to look at the blue of the blue of the blue. I like making things. I like making things with Josie. I like making things with you two, Topsy and Tim. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Josie. Oh, look how clever you all are. <laughs> thanks, Mummy. It's Robo Rabbit. Oh. I want to make a friend for him. And a heart. Out of all these cardboard boxes. Yeah. Mummy, you can help. Oh, I'd love to, but not right now, Tim. It's time for Josie to go home. Oh. oh, don't worry. Josie can come and play another day. Yes. Or you can come to my house next time, Topsy and Tim. Yay! And that's when Mummy said, Soon you'll be starting at big school. Soon you'll be starting at big school, Topsy and Tim. And then you'll get to see Josie every day. Yay! <laughs> I cycle to school. Oh, please can we learn to ride bikes so that we can cycle with Josie, Mummy? Please? Yes, you can. But bike riding is definitely something for another day. Come on, Josie, it's home time. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, our new friend Josie came to play. Can you remember what we made from the old cardboard boxes? Was it a rabbit? A robot? Or a robot rabbit? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. The answer is a robot rabbit. Watch this. <laughs> Mummy gives us some leftover tin foil. Nice. And we make the best ever robot rabbit out of old boxes. Please. Oh, good choice, Tim. We use pipe cleaners for whiskers. Oh, cool, because that helps make them curly. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grandma! I love our new bike. Oh, good! Now, how about a Grandma Huggle? Squeeze! Grandma has given us our first bikes ever. Our new bikes have got stabilisers to help us to learn to ride them. <laughs> you can practice riding your bikes all afternoon long whilst I pop off to my meeting. And I can help you. I don't need any help, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Running a new bike is easy. Well, learning to ride a new bike isn't always easy. Now, off them until you go outside. Let's yes, push them out into the garden. Is it? it? Is. Well, we need to pop your helmets on then, don't we? Yeah. Go. So we take our bikes out of the garden. And Mummy gives us our helmets. Enjoy yourselves, Topsy and Tim. Good girl, let me just check your helmet. Lovely, OK. Right, how are you doing, Tim? Oh, you done that up? Yes. All right, let's move yours forward a little bit as well. OK, everybody get set. Right. OK, twins, off you go. Oh, look, Grandma, oh. look, Tim, I can do it. <laughs> Riding my new yellow bike isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Grandma, can I have some help? Oh. Ah. OK. Here we go. Mossy! Oh. Mossy, come on. Come on, Mossy, inside. Inside. Mossy, Mossy, come on. Come on, Moss, good girl.
Come here, come here, come on. I think we should go inside. Because Tim's learning to ride his bike and you're getting in the way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Just push your feet around on the pedal stem. Okay. Oh, can you give me another push, please? Topsy stays on her red bike all afternoon. <laughs> Topsy's still going. Now, where do you want to sit? I'll stand, Grandma. You're going to stand? OK, well, I'll sit down then for a minute. Ah. Whew. I don't want to ride my bike anymore. Come on. I'll help you. OK. <laughs> right, let's go and get on it. Well done, you're on it. OK, now, you don't have to worry about wobbling over because you've got stabilisers, OK? OK. Just push down on the pedals with your feet. If you wobble, I'll catch you, right? OK. OK. Let's see, off we go. That's it, Tim. That's it, you're doing it. Uh, That's Grandma, it. help! Well done, Tim. Oh, That's ow. it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Ow. What have you done? Let's have a look. Are you all right? No. Oh. I show Grandma my hand and there's a thorn in it. Right, come on. Let's go inside. We'll soon get that out. Thanks, oh. Grandma. Dear. You were doing so well too, Tim. Grandma pulls the thorn out of my hand and makes it better. And a kiss. Now your hand is well again, Tim. <laughs> Oh, I think this is Mummy back from her meeting. Hi. Oh dear. What's happened? I fell off my bike into a bush. Oh. Tim was trying so hard on his bike and he was just getting the hang of it when he fell. Mummy, Mummy, come and see me ride my bike. Oh, wow, Topsy, looking good. <laughs> come on, Timmy, you're not coming back out on your bike again? No, my hand still hurts. I don't want to ride my new bike anymore. I know what you need, Tim. A bicycle lesson from your mummy. Come on, Mossy Doggy. Come on. Out in the garden. Come on. Here. I think Grandma's right. Why don't I go and get my old bike and then we can practice together in the garden? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mummy's old bike is dirty and dusty. It has a baby seat on the back. Did I used to sit on this tiny seat when I was a baby? <laughs> yes, you did. You'd sit on the back of my bike and Topsy would sit on the back of Daddy's bike. Oh, there we go. Now, why don't you go and grab your helmet and then we can go out into the garden? Yeah, OK. Mummy! Coming! Mummy! <laughs> right. Do you want to watch me ride my bike? Yes! yes. OK. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Mummy rides her bike in circles. She's really good at it. And her bike doesn't have stabilisers. OK, you lot, it's your turn now. Topsy, Tim. Oh, well, Grandma. Yes, yes, Grandma! <laughs> no, not me. Now, I think, I think you two should show Mummy what you can do. Yes! Let Mummy watch me! Oh, that's brilliant, oh, Topsy. Very good. Good girl. Come on, Tim. Why don't you show Mummy how you can ride your bike? I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Yes, you can do it, Tim. Grandma to go home.
We gave Grandma some flowers, which Mummy let us pick from the garden, to say thank you for our new bikes. Aren't they lovely? Thank you for our new bikes, Grandma. Oh, oh. We absolutely love them. Those are lovely. You know what this demands, don't you? Squeeze! Squeeze. Who wants to ride their bikes to the park? Me! Mossy would like that too. <laughs> So we can all go together and we can call in on Josie Miller and she can ride her bike there too. Yay! <laughs> Josie will love my new red bike. <laughs> and I hope she'll like my bike. Yeah! Yeah! And that's when Mummy said, When you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie. <laughs> when you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie, Topsy and Tim. Yeah! Come on, let's cycle to the park. Oh. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Come on, come on. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Grandma gave us new bikes. Can you remember the colour of Tim's bike? Was it red? Or was it yellow? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Sorry, Mummy. No, it's all right. Don't worry. I'll just get a cloth. Is Tim painting too? Yes, I think so. Give me your hands, please, Topsy. You need to be clean to meet your new teacher. Tim, where are you? I'm here. Oh, look at you. Let me wipe your face and hands. You need to be clean for Miss Terry and she'll be here soon. Why is Miss Terry coming to our house? Teachers need to meet all new school children before their first day. Helps you get to know each other. Your hands are nearly done, thank you. I want to play in my space rocket. Well, you can play in your space rocket later, Tim. But please, come downstairs now. Be polite, meet your new teacher. Oh, the aliens are about to attack. Caroline Terry, we met when you visited the school. This is my teaching assistant, Miss Bess. Hello. Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm Joy and this is Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Hello, Miss Terry. Hi, Topsy, I remember you. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Hello, Miss Bess. Oh, where's Tim? He's upstairs in the space rocket. <laughs> he doesn't want to come down yet. Sorry, but please come in, make yourselves at home. Thank you. <laughs> yes, come and see my toys, Miss oh, Terry and Miss Bess. They're in here. Look. Aww. This is Little Moon Bunny. Hello. This is Frederick. Hello. Hello. Hello, Frederick. Oh, I'll put the kettle on. Thank you. Make your cup of tea. This is Dr. Sausage Dog. Oh, hello, Dr. Sausage. Oh, dear. Oh, poor thing. He's hurt his leg. Yes. His other normal leg is upstairs. Oh. In my bed, sad. Would you like to come and see? Yes, I would. Come on. 
Mrs. O'Dell, is it okay if we go upstairs with Topsy? Yes, of course. You'll find Tim in his bedroom up there too. Yay, okay. come on! Oh, I see. Ah. Very good. Lots of equipment there, haven't you? Yeah. Hmm. Look, this is Dr. Sausage, Dr. Sausage Dog's yes. other leg. Oh. This is how I make him better. I see. Oh, look, that's clever. Actually, there's someone in my bag who needs a vet's checkup, Topsy. This is Mr. Honeybear, our class teddy. Would you make him better, please? Yes. Oh, poor Honeybear. I'm going to put a plaster on your paw. Oh, that's kind. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I think I'll take him to say hello to Tim. Yes. OK, Tim's in the room next to mine. Oh, thanks, Topsy. Miss Bess, could you please find a sticker each for Topsy and Tim? Of course, they're in my folder downstairs. Well, sure. Tim? Hello. May I come in? I brought our class teddy, Mr. Honeybear, to say hello. This is Eddie Teddy. Oh, hello, Eddie Teddy. Let's shake paws. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, I love this super space rocket. My goodness, you know, um, our class had a special space week last term. Oh. Mm. We um, made planets and rockets to hang from the ceiling and alien masks to wear. Oh, I love to wear an alien mask. Do you? Well, that's good, because I brought some along to show you. Come and have a look. Oh, yeah. They look funny. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> alien masks. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Should we try them on? <laughs> yes. Which one would you like to try on, Tim? I'll wear this one. All right. What about you, Topsy? This one, please. Oh, oh this I like the googly good. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Oh. There we go. Let's go downstairs and show Mummy. Yeah, there we go. Topsy and I put on an alien mask. So does Miss Terry. Mummy, we're funny oh, and scary aliens. And Tim says he's ready to come downstairs now. Oh! <laughs> you certainly are. <laughs> oh. Come on, I've got some special space drinks for you all in the kitchen. Tim meets Miss Best and we drink our alien apple juice. Then Miss Best gives us both a sticker. Right then, I have got some stickers for you. <laughs> so there we go, one for you. Thank you, it's a bunny rabbit. Oh. And there's one for Tim as well. There you go. Oh, mine's just a boring old umbrella. Actually, your rabbit sticker and your umbrella sticker are very important, Topsy and Tim. Miss Best is going to post a rabbit sticker and an umbrella sticker just like those on your pegs at school. And on your first day, you'll know where to put your bag and coat. Thank you. I love my bunny rabbit oh, sticker. Oh, good. It makes me think of our rabbit, Wiggles. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Terry. Thank You're you, Miss Best. You're very welcome. I think... My umbrella stick is okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's right! Oh. Put your mask on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Where did these masks come from? Our teacher, Miss Terry, and our teaching assistant, Miss Bester, here. Oh! <laughs> come see them, Dad. Go yeah, yeah. them with them. Okay, let's go, Tim. Hi, Hi, I'm Brian. Sorry I'm late. Oh, not to worry. Nice to meet you. Oh, dear. Sorry. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Car nice disaster. Mummy, where's the cloth? That needs a wash. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. Go clean them off. Sorry. <laughs> Dad, you have to be clean for Miss Terry. <laughs> Mummy told me that. Thank you, Topsy. Now, Topsy and Tim, do you have any more questions you'd like to ask me about school? Yes. 
will Tim and I be able to sit together on our first day? Yes, of course, actually. All 30 children in my class sit together on the carpet. Um, but how will we get to know all the children's names? Oh, you will. We'll play lots of name games. You'll be fine. Now, we have lots more children we have to visit today in their homes, and I think they might like to see the alien masks too. So please may I have them back. Lovely. Thank you. And thank you so much for having us. We've really enjoyed our visit. Oh, well, thank you for coming, Miss Terry and Miss Best. <laughs> and we will see you, Topsy and Tim, next week for your first day at school. Yes, you will. <laughs> And that's when Dad says, And by then, you will both be five years old. Yeah. Ah. And by then, you will both be five years old. It's your birthday, remember? Yes. Oh, yes, we're having a party this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> have great fun at your party and tell me all about it at school, won't you? And that, said Miss Terry, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had a teacher visit. Can you remember what masks Miss Terry brought round to show us? Were they alien masks or animal masks? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is alien masks. Watch this. Look, mummy, we're funny and scary aliens. Oh! <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Decorating our Christmas tree. <laughs> it's Christmas Day tomorrow. Do you remember him? The little Robin. Oh, look at that, Tim. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. So this Robin I made when I was your age. Mm. Look See? At that. Isn't he lovely? <gasps> really so oh, this is oh. all now that. This was the angel that belonged to your great granny. To my mummy. Yeah, my granny. This was the angel on top of her yeah, tree. Yeah, gorgeous, isn't she? Oh, how's yours going, Topsy? Good, thanks, Dad. <sighs> Look, Tim, I've nearly finished. It's good. It's really good. Like wow. that. Mm. Let's have a look. See? And what is it? It's a... Yeah, what is it? Father Christmas oh. pine card! Yay! Now, why don't we stick that on the top of the tree? <gasps> oh, yes, can I do it, Dad? Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Yeah. There you go. Oh, can we help you? Oh. 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 Here we go. I can do something, Dad. Oh, wow. I crown you for the Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> now, who is ready to turn the lights on? Some Christmas Dad dancing. Dance, 
Mummy reminds us we've got a present to wrap. <laughs> now, I've got your present wrapped for Daddy, OK? Once you've done it, you pop it under the tree for me. OK, wait one second. OK, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you. Quick, the boy sees Tim. We're taking upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder what Mummy has got us to give to Dad. I don't know. Wow! That's a big umbrella. <laughs> it's really long. Cool. Can you put it up, please, Tim? I wonder how big it is. Whoa! We'll all be able to fit under this umbrella. Yes, and when we go to school and it starts raining, we'll be dry. Oh, yeah. Cool. Now we need to wrap we need lots of paper. So we... Oh, look, no. here's some paper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe, Daddy, you can watch us wrap. Thing to wrap on. Yeah. On carriage list for Father Christmas. Yeah. She's put games and toys and dressing up clothes for her dolls. Hmm. Tony's going to get a magic set too. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds like Dad's doing his jumping up and down dance. to go and see. Let's get this finished. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Family Christmas, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, Mum. Oh. Mm -hmm. Happy Christmas, love. Oh. oh, that reminds me. <sighs> Look what I've got. Some photos of you when you were a little boy. No, oh, they at are. Christmas, yes. <gasps> Christmas pajamas. Look at you there. Oh. And there, you can see them really well there. Look. <laughs> yeah, I look. I look just like you do. Tim. You do indeed. And look, do you remember that present? Yeah, I do. It's my uh, secret spy suitcase. That's right, it is. Well, you loved that. You really oh. did. <laughs> I've got so many happy memories of Christmas yeah. when I was a boy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Mm. I hope Top seeing Tim have lots of happy memories. Tim carries Dad's umbrella present behind his back. Ah, there you are. Look, I've got a special surprise for you two. Come with me. Now, what do you think of this? Wow! It's a Santa! Whoa! And watch this. Whoa, it's a light up Santa! <laughs> it's a light up for the Christmas! Yo ho 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 ho! <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, Dad, thank you! Oh, you're welcome! I feel really Christmassy now! <laughs> jingle bells! Jingle, jingle bells! bells. We can do some more Christmas dancing because I feel Christmassy now! Ooh, ooh. Not just yet. I've got a job, you two Christmas elves. <laughs> this is a surprise present for Mummy from you two. Now, please, can you wrap it and put it under the tree? Hmm. Then we'll do some Christmas dancing. OK. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, Dad. We're good at wrapping umbrellas, aren't we, Topsy? <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. How funny. We're giving the same Christmas present to Mummy and Dad. After we wrap the umbrella present for Mummy, we get everything ready for Father Christmas and Rudolph. Oh, there, yes. 
I think Rudolph will like his carrots and mince pie. He'll definitely be very hungry by the time he gets to our house. Right, I'm off now, Topsy and Tim. Please can I have my extra special Christmas Eve huggles? <laughs> now, remember to hang up your stockings and you must go to sleep if you want Father Christmas to come. Yeah, <laughs> I know, yes! Bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks for your help today. Pleasure. Bye. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. I'm off to the Christmas service. Happy at Christmas. Church. Happy Christmas. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Oh, that's fine. Let's go and wait for that. Bye! 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 After we dance, we brush our teeth and hang our stockings up. OK, Topsy, where are you going to hang your stocking? I'm going to hang it here. Oh, perfect place for Father Christmas to find it. There you go. Do you think it's a bit low? No, I think it's perfect. There you go. My stocking, please. Don't. Yes, we can do yours now, Tim. Good idea. Ellie Teddy's on the front. He is. Come on, Topsy, should we go and see where Tim hangs his? Where do you think? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Mind ready? Lovely. <laughs> now, when you wake up in the morning, those might be full of presents. I want to look out of the window for Father Christmas and his sleigh. Me too. Oh, I can't see him. Well, Father Christmas can't come and fill your stockings with presents until you're fast asleep. So into bed, both of you, please. Good boy, Tim, let's get your slippers off. Hi. Slippers! Into bed. There's Eddie Hi. Teddy. Hi. Good boy, snuggle down. Night, night. Hi. Good girl, Topsy. Into bed, snuggle down. Night, night. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. We tried to get to sleep, but we're too excited. Tim, shall we have one last look out of the window for Father Christmas? Yes. Come over to my side. Still can't see him, Topsy. He could be anywhere in the world. Oh, wait, Topsy, what's that? Up there, look! Wow! Wow! It's about the Christmas! Is it? And his sleigh! Are you sure? I think <laughs> it is! And that's when Mummy said, Get, Get a good night's sleep. sleep. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Christmas Day. Day. Get a good night's sleep. Because tomorrow is Christmas Day, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> I can't wait for you and Dad to open your presents. <laughs> yeah. I'm really looking forward to it too. Night, night, Toptastic Topsy. Mwah. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night. You. you too. Night, night, Twin Tastic Tim. Night, night. Mwah. Happy. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we turned on our Christmas tree lights. Can you remember?
remember what Topsy made for the top of the Christmas tree. Was it a Father Christmas pine cone? Or was it a fairy pine cone? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a Father Christmas pine cone. Watch this. How's yours going, Topsy? Good, thanks, Dad. Uh, look, Jim, I've nearly finished. It's good. It's really good. Like that? Well, yeah. mm. Let's have a look. See? And what is it? It's a... Yeah. What is it? Father Christmas oh. pine card! Yay! Oh. Great game! <laughs> that was good fun. <laughs> Mummy is away helping Granny Molly. Granny Molly's hurt her arm, so Mummy's going to stay with her all week. <laughs> <laughs> OK, finish turning up, please. Oh, listen to me, Topsy and Tim. I've got an idea. What? What is it, Dad? While Mummy's away, I want to put up some new wallpaper in our bedroom as a surprise for her. What do you think? That's a great idea, Dad. Can I help, please? Yes, you certainly can, Topsy. Thank you. And here it is. Ta da! Oh, wow! Whoa. It's really nice, Dad. It's really nice. Yeah, I think so too. Mummy picked it out especially, and I think she will love to come home and see it hanging up on the wall. Dad, she made a really good choice. Didn't she? Lots to do, gang. <laughs> Let's get started! OK. Oh, shall I finish ducking the dishwasher? Yeah, please, Tim. Thank you. What helpful twins. Dad showed me how to spread the sticky, gluey paste onto the back of the wallpaper. Remember, Topsy, you need lots and lots of paste on your brush, yeah? Mummy is going to be so impressed. Done it! Good girl. <laughs> Why don't you stick it here, Dad? Yeah, let's start from the corner. Oh, up there, then? Yeah, just help me to unpeel it. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, gently, gently. All the way. OK, let go. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I can't quite reach. Oh, can we get you a step? Oh, thank you. I've got you too, just in case, Dad. Oh, thank you. OK, there we go. Now. OK. Right, how am I doing? Oh, um, this side, along a bit. OK, along, yep. Up, up a bit more. Yes, that's good. OK, right. Wow, oh. happy dad! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tim, please, can you come up and help us? Wait a minute. Please, can you come? Oh. Maybe we need DIY Derek to come and help. No, we don't need DIY Derek. I'm sure I can hang a sheet of wallpaper with you two to help me. We'll be a proper decorating team. Tim comes upstairs to help with the decorating. Look, look. We might need to pull this along so I can paint the other bit. OK. <laughs> OK, let's grab a corner each and take it through to the bedroom. There we go, into the bedroom. OK, Tim, just watch where you're going, yeah? yeah. Oh! <sighs> Oops. OK, um, help me put the paper back on the table, please. Sorry. Oh, um, I'll tidy this up. Uh, jump up, thank you. Please, could you pop another dust sheet down on the floor? Thank you. Pop. Tim? Yes? We've got to get DIY Derek to help Dad with the wallpapering. We could find DIY Derek. But Mummy says we're not allowed to use the phone unless it's a true emergency. Mummy won't mind if we use the phone once. Mm. OK. Let's put this down first. 
I don't think we can go. Yeah, I'm to it. <laughs> And I look for DIY Derek's number. Thanks, Tim. I need to find Derek's number first. Derek. Derek. Derek, this is his number. The number is. Oh, yeah. Tim Tim speaking. Oh, hi, Topsy. How can I help you? Dad's making a bit of a mess of the decorating. Oh, dear, is he? Please, could you come and help us? Yes, of course. You can? Yes, yes, of course I can. Oh, thank you, Derek. No Bye. See you soon. Bye -bye. Topsy, Tim. Where'd you find that? <laughs> My little helpers fancy a break. There's juice in the kitchen. drinking our juice. To leave enough time for DIY Derek to get to our house. Wonder that can be. Derek! Hi Brian. Hello, what a surprise. Ah, now I hear you're doing some wallpapering. I am? Yeah, who told you? I got a phone call from your two little helpers. Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Did you use the telephone to call uh, Derek? Uh, yes. Sorry, Dad. You cheeky <laughs> pair! <laughs> Come on in, Derek. Right. Point me to the disaster, Topsy and Tim. It's up Mummy and Dad's room! Righty ho. We'll show you! Good. Do you know why Derek helped us wallpaper Mummy and Dad's bedroom? It looked so nice when we'd finished. There we go. Four more sleeps until Mummy gets back and she'll see the new wallpaper. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Derek. And my pleasure. It's come up really well. Thanks to you two, really. And that's when Dad says, <laughs> I will take a photo of this room on my phone. You know what? I will take a photo of this room on my phone. Top scene, Tim. Good idea. A oh. photo of the new wallpaper and of my wallpapering team. Please, can I? I want you to be in the photo as well, Dad. Oh, thank you. OK, do you know how to work the camera, Topsy? Yes. OK. Where's Dad, stand? Yes. please, let's you stand, stand here. here. Yes. Oh. Over this way a bit. Oh, OK, yep. Um, Where should I go? DIY Derek next to Dad. Right. And Tim, you there. Brilliant. OK. <laughs> smile, Tim, smile, Dad, smile, DIY Derek. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were helping Dad with the decorating. Can you remember who else came over to help? Was it Mr. Fenn or was it DIY Derek? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is DIY Derek. Watch this. 
Derek! Hi, Brian. Hello, what a surprise. Ah, now I hear you're doing some wallpapering. I am, yeah, who told you? I got a phone call from your two little helpers. Topsy and Tim? <laughs> Did you use the telephone to call yeah. Derek? Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Dad! We're going camping this weekend. And before we go, Dad always puts the tent up in our garden to check that it's OK. Oh, no! My stomach! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> right, Topsy and Tim, are you ready to see if our tent is in tip-top shape for a comfy night's sleep this weekend? Yes! Yes! Yeah! OK. <laughs> Yes, very comfy. I think our tent's ready to take camping. In fact, I'm a bit sleepy now. <gasps> Good night, campers. Wake up, Dad, wake up, wake oh, up. What, 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 what? We've still got some things to do, remember? Yes, you're right. I've got to pack up the tent and put it away in the car. Come on, you two. No. There's lots of good camping games. Our favourite game is when he plays animals. OK, OK, OK. Back in, back in. Oh, oh, oh! I know, I know! It's basically there! Oh, oh, oh! A wolf! A wolf! A wolf! Yes, you're right. I'm a big, bad wolf. And I've come to hop and puff and say... Sorry, twins, we've got to take the tent down now. Oh, Do we have to? Yeah, I will do lots more animal noises at the weekend when we're camping, I promise. It's time for you two to get... Ow, ow, ow! Let's go and help Mummy while I pack up. OK. OK. Yeah, <laughs> what can we help with, Mummy? Uh, can you just check that the zips on your sleeping bag oh, work yes. for me, please? Thank you. We help Mummy do the sleeping bag checking doors. How are the zips? They working? Um, My zips done. My zips working. Brilliant. Mine too. <laughs> Let's pretend we're camping tops. Yes. Yeah. Good night then. <laughs> oh, if you two are going to be asleep. Keep your eyes shut for me. Uh, why? You'll find out in just a minute. Just keep your eyes closed for me. Close them. For how long? Not very long at all. Perfect. Keep them shut. No peeking. Oh, can we just have a little peek? No, I'm nearly there. Can I just open my eyes for one <laughs> second and then close them tight and shut again? OK, you can. Open them. No, wow. it's just like a tent in here. <laughs> Our own indoor tent. Yes. Wow, look at this. Now, the tent is ready to be packed in the boot. I'm just going to go and get petrol for the car at the garage. <laughs> he wants to come with me. Um, not me, Dad. I'm camping indoors. Oh, OK. What about you, Topsy? You love coming to the petrol station. Yes, yes, please. Please, can I have a comic? OK, come on. <laughs> Won't be long. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Night-night, Tim. Night-night, Ted. <laughs> Won't be long. Night -night, right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Come on, you. Wakey-wakey, Tim. I've got a really good idea for a camping game. Are you ready? Yes, where are you, Mummy? All right, you'll see me in a minute and you have to guess what animal I am, OK? okay. Are you a tiger? No. Octopus? Oh, nearly. It's got eight legs, but not an octopus. A spider! Yay! Brilliant, well done. And how about this one? You're a dinosaur? No, close. Oh, I know, you're a crocodile. Yes, brilliant, well done. My good, no, OK, OK, you do some. Mummy and I play shadow animals. 
till Topsy and Dad get back home. Butterfly! Yes! Okay. Tim, we're back! Oh, Topsy's back. Are oh, they back? Yep. And look who we've got with us. Oh. We saw Mr Rosen on the way back from the petrol station. Hello, Mr Rosen. Hello, Tim. Oh, Hi. Joy. Hi. Your dad was kind enough to invite me for a cup of tea in your lovely new house. Do you like Iron Dog Tent, Mr. Rosen? Oh, let me see. It looks very nice indeed. I always loved camping when I was a little boy. Huh. Do you want to come indoor camping with us, Mr. Rosen? That would be lovely, Topsy and Tim. Yay! <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> We got out all our camping plates and mugs. And we had an indoor camping picnic with Mr. Rosen. Who wants juice? Me, me, me! Thank you, Mr. Rosen. Thank you, What a wonderful picnic. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Mr. Rosen. <laughs> Do you know any good camping games, Mr. Rosen? Camping games? Let me think. Um. Mmm. I do know a game we could play. Mm. Oh, what is it? Well, I'll show you. Uh, but first we need to close the curtains. Oh, I'll do okay. that. And then I'll need some cardboard and scissors. I'll get the cardboard and the scissors. Thank and you. a torch, please. Oh, I'll get the torch. I've got one in my room. And I'll clean the plates. Mm. <laughs> Mummy and Dad pack up the car. And while we wait, Mr Rosen gets the game ready. He does lots of cutting out. Snip. Snippity down. snip. <laughs> Done. Now, take a look at this. It's a cardboard cutout cat. Yes. It is. Now, in you go, campers. I'm ready to show you my camping game. Can I have the torch, Tim? Oh, Thank sorry. Thank you. Now then, are you watching? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready for another shadow? Yes, yes! Can you guess whose shadow this is? Um, it's, it's me! It's, it's me! It's me. It is, it is. And uh, whose is this? Oh, it's, 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 it's Tim! It is Tim. Hello, Tim. Bye, 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 bye. And whose shadows do you think these are? Eddie, Teddy, Little Moon Bunny! Oh, yes, Eddie, Teddy, Little Moon Bunny, yes! Correct! Hooray! 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 hooray. <laughs> I love you, Little Moon Bunny. <laughs> and that's when Mummy said... Eddie, Teddy and Little Moon Bunny, it's time you went to bed. Eddie, Teddy and Little Moon Bunny, it's time you went to bed. <laughs> Come on, Topsy and Tim. You have to get up early to go camping tomorrow. OK, Mummy. It's time I went, too. Now, take these cutouts and you can play with them when you're in your tent this weekend. Well, thank you, Mr Rosen. That game was really fun. Thank you. I'm going to make a cardboard cutout of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so when we're in our tent this weekend, it'll be like you've come with us. You always come up with the best ideas, Topsy and Tim. And that's, that's a Mr. Rosen. What's that? that? Come on, you two. Back to Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Mummy made us an indoor tent. Can you remember who came out to visit us? Was it Mr Fenn? Or was it Mr Rosen? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Mr Rosen. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Here 
we are, Topsy and Tim. Our new house. Wow! Wow! Please, can we go inside, Mummy? <laughs> yes, of course we can. Come on, let's go and find Dad. Yeah! yeah! We've been playing at Grandma's house all day, whilst Dad and Mummy move all of our things into our new home. And now we're here. Hi, Dad! I'm in here. Hello, twins. <laughs> Welcome to our new home. <laughs> so, who wants to look around? Me, 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 me. OK, off you go. Kitchen's that way. Oh, look at that. I love the garden. Oh, look, it's our new rabbit. We'll have to get an even bigger hutch when he gets a friend. Wow! Come on, come upstairs. Go, oh, Tim! Look, oh, look, Tim. It's a big bathroom. I oh, love it, and it's got a shower. And you can walk in it. Look. Great, let's have a show tonight. Yeah! <laughs> this, this must be Mummy and Dad's room. It's big. Oh, look! These must be our bedrooms. Look, our old chest of drawers! Oh, yeah! Look! Look! My butterfly sticker! This must be my bedroom! Boing, boing, boing! So, what do you think, Topsy and Tim? We like our new house. I love it! Hey. I'm going to see my bedroom. Your bedroom, Tim? It doesn't feel like my bedroom. What do you mean? Topsy's got our chest of drawers and our old curtains. I see. And I don't have that. There's none of your things in this bedroom. No. Well, I've got an idea. You need to go and find your toys from downstairs and put them in here. <gasps> yes! Yes! Okay. I find our toy trolley and take it upstairs. What's that noise? It's our new doorbell. <laughs> it sounds like a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is at the door. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. We're Mr. and Mrs. Friend from next door. We just popped by to say hello. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Friend are our new next door neighbours. And they've brought us a cake. <gasps> what do we say? Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's very kind, Mrs. Fenn. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to come in? Oh no, 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 not today. No thanks. No, no, no. We'll let you uh, let you get on with your unpacking. <laughs> but we're right next door if you need anything. Oh. We've never had twins living in Westview Avenue before. You're Topsy and Tim, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> and this is Eddie Teddy and Dr. Sausage Dog. Oh. And this is Little Moon Bunny. <laughs> and this is our new doorbell. Listen, it sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> we eat the chocolate cake sitting on boxes while Mummy and Dad make our beds. And then it's time to go upstairs. Come on, you two, teeth brushing, bath, and bed. Or how about teeth brushing, shower, and bed? Yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good boy, come on. Tonight we have our first ever shower. In a shower that you can walk into. And when I go into my new bedroom with Dad, it doesn't feel so strange anymore. Thanks, Dad. My new duvet's on my bed. Now, there's just a sheet for curtains, Tim. <laughs> but you can help choose new curtains if you like. Yes, please. OK. And look at this. My moonlight night. Yeah. Thank you. 
look more like my old bedroom now. Good, I'm glad. Oh, I like your bedroom, Tim. Thanks. Oh, you've got the moonlight light in your room. I wanted that in mine. Ah, uh, well, we've already thought of that. Everybody, into Topsy's room, oh! please. <laughs> Thanks, Mummy. Thanks, Dad. But now we've got a moonlight light each. Well, we thought you should have your own moons for your own bedrooms. Now, who's ready for a story? Oh, me, me, me! <laughs> <laughs> Can we have that one, please, Dad? Mm-hmm. Where should we have stories? Can we have stories in your bed tonight, Topsy? OK, and tomorrow night we can have stories in your room. Oh, Yay! What a great idea. <laughs> Before we start stories, can I just say how wonderful you three have been today? Thanks, Mummy. Thanks, Topsy. And thanks, Tim. It's been great moving house together. Come here. Oh. After stories, we try to get to sleep in our new bedrooms. Is that you, Topsy? Yes. <laughs> Hello. And that's when Dad said... What's all that knocking I can hear? What's all that knocking I can hear, Topsy and Tim? <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. I was just knocking on the wall to say goodnight to Tim. And I was knocking goodnight back to Topsy. OK. One last time, please, twins. Good night, Tim. Good night, Topsy. Night, night, Topsy and Tim. Night, night, Dad. Night, Dad. Night, night. And that's your dad. Was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we moved to our new house. Can you remember what Mr. and Mrs. Fenn gave us as a moving in present? Was it a chocolate cake? Or was it a box of chocolates? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a chocolate cake. Watch this. I've got an idea. You need to go and find your toys from downstairs and put them in here. Yes! Yes! Thanks, Dad. OK. I find our toy trolley and take it upstairs. What's that noise? It's our new doorbell. <laughs> it sounds like... Sheep! <laughs> <laughs> Sam is at the door. Hello! Hi. Hi. Hi, hello, hi. Hello, we're Mr and Mrs Friend from next door. We just popped by to say hello. Hello! Mr and Mrs Friend are our new next door neighbours. And they've brought us a cake. <gasps> what do we say? Thank you! <laughs> oh, that's very kind, Mrs Friend. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to come in? Oh, no, 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 not today, no thanks. No, 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 we'll let you, uh, let you get on with your unpacking. Yeah. But we're right next door if you need anything. We've never had twins living in Westview Avenue before. You're Topsy and Tim, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> and this is Eddie Teddy and Dr Sausage Dog. Oh. And this is Little Moon Bunny. And this is our new doorbell. Listen, it sounds funny. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Oh, that's lovely. They're beautiful. Now what? Please, when we go and play in the garden now, Grandma. <laughs> of course. With Mossy. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, let's play fetch. I'll get Mossy's ball right. quick. Just tell me first, Topsy. Can we just put these in the dishwasher, please? Good girl. We love playing with Mossy in our garden. Mossy? Mossy? Mm. Mossy? 
Mossy? Wait, where is Mossy? Mossy! Do you know she was a bit quiet on the walk to your house? Oh, Mossy, there you are! What's wrong, Doggy? Aren't you feeling very well, Mossy? Oh. Come on, Mossy, come and have a drink of water. Grandma, Mossy keeps licking her paw. Oh, does she? Well, maybe her paw is sore. Let's have a look. Oh, where's the girl? There. Oh, look, it, it feels fine. But I'll call the vet and book an appointment for her just to be on the safe side. I know. I'll look after you until you're at appointment at the vet. I'll go and get my vet set. Oh, just remember, Mossy isn't well, Topsy. So don't expect to play and hug with her in the usual way today. OK. <laughs> I know, Mossy. I'll fill up your water bowl and I'll ask Grandma if we can give you a treat for Moss to cheer you up. I love you. Sorted. I've made Mossy an appointment at the vet's for later today. There. Mossy, there's fresh water in your bowl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well done. Can we give Mossy a treat, please, Grandma? That's a good idea, Tim. Can you fetch her treat tub for me? Oh, yes. Oh, no. There aren't any more doggy biscuits left in Mossy's tub. Oh, poor Mossy. I know. We can make some more doggy biscuits. Get well soon, doggy biscuits. <laughs> yes, that is a very kind thought, Tim. But we don't have a dog biscuit recipe. Oh. We could find a dog recipe on the internet, Grandma. That's a very good idea. Could you fetch me my tablet, please, Tim? It's on the hall table in my bag. OK. <laughs> to help us make doggy biscuits for Mossy. Oh, no thanks. I'm going to look after Mossy like a proper vet. OK. <laughs> Grandma and I look up dog biscuit recipes on the internet. While I look after Mossy. Now I'm going to bandage your paw, Mossy. I'll show you. I'm going to put a bandage on Dr Sausage Dog's sore paw. Look. There you go, Dr Sausage Dog. You're better now. See, Mossy, it doesn't hurt to have your paw bandaged. Oh, Mossy, are you going to sleep? Grandma! I, I was going to bandage Mossy's paw, but she's fallen asleep. Oh, the sleep will do her good. Oh, can I help? Yeah. Wash your hands first, please, Topsy. OK. Now, add half a teaspoon of salt to the flour in the bowl. Now comes the fun bit. Whoa! <laughs> Look, Topsy, I'm a snowman. <laughs> Me too. What's next, Grandma? Um, Oh, add the egg to the flour and the salt and mix that in. <laughs> when the mixture is ready, we make bone-shaped biscuits. Look at mine, Tim. Oh, that's brilliant, Topsy. Well done. They're looking really good, Topsy and Tim. I'm making another bone shape. So am I. Nearly done, Tim? Well done, Topsy and Tim. Now, come on, let's put the first tray in the oven. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Grandma puts the biscuits into the oven to bake. When they're cooked, we have to wait ages until the biscuits are cold enough for Mossy to eat them. These look really yummy, Grandma. Oh, they won't taste very nice to us, Tim, because they're doggy biscuits. Now, just take one each to give to Mossy. Uh, Mossy! Got that 
Two left biscuits. Hey, Mum, we'll see. Come on, we'll see. She's still licking her paw, Grandma. She's still licking her paw. Careful, Mussy, careful. Grandma, Mussy doesn't know her biscuits. Oh, dear. Let's see. There's something in her paw, Grandma. Is there? Oh, my flat, my flat. Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a stone. Mm. Just here in her paw. Oh, yes. That's why she's been licking her paw. Oh. Need to get out. Oh, well, well, well. What a good thing Vet Topsy was looking after you, Mossy. Now, let me see if I can get it out. Ooh. I've got it out. Look, it is a stone. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why Mossy was licking her paw. That's right. Mm. She's all right now. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> All about Mossy's sore paw. And I found a stone in her paw. So, Grandma, does Mossy still need to go to the vet? No, I've cancelled her appointment. And I expect she's feeling a bit hungry. Mm. Look, Mossy, I've made you some doggy biscuits. And it's time for you to have one. They're very special. Yes. Here, Mossy. Now, sit, sit first. Sit, sit, sit. sit. Good. Now take. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl. And there's another one here for you. Well done, Topsy and Tim. Mm. How clever you are to make get well dog biscuits for Mossy. And that's when Mummy said, We've got some more baking to do before tomorrow. We've got some more baking to do before tomorrow, Topsy and Tim. We're making biscuits for your nursery school friends. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's our last day at nursery school tomorrow. <laughs> and we're making biscuits for everyone. Oh, great. Let's find another yummy biscuit recipe oh, right yes. now. Watch hands before see. you cook. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Mossy had a sore paw. Can you remember what we found in Mossy's paw? Was it a stone or was it a thorn? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a stone. Watch this. Lie flat, lie flat. Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a stone. Just here in her paw. Oh, yes, that's why she's been licking her paw. Oh. Need to get out. Well, 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 what a good thing Vet Topsy was looking after you, Mossy. Now, let me see if I can get it out. I've got it out. Look, it is a stone. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why Mossy was licking her paw. That's right. Mm. She's all right now. Good girl. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Enjoy visiting big school tomorrow, Topsy and Tim. Well, Thanks, Josie. Thanks for having Josie to play, Joy. Oh, Thanks pleasure. so much. Thanks for having me. Anytime, Josie. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye Josie. Josie goes everywhere on her bike. She even rides it when she comes to our house. And we live just across the road. And she cycles to school on her bike. When we start big school, I go and cycle there every day. Like Josie does. I'm going to go on my scooter. Oh, look, here's Grandma. Oh, Grandma! Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hello, you too. Where's my hello, Grandma Huggle? Squeeze! Hello, Mussy Huggle. Squeeze! Can you go on, Mussy's lead? Of course you can. There you go. Right, I'm off for my run. Thank you so much for coming to look after Topsy and Tim for me, Grandma. It's my absolute pleasure. 
Going in. Oh. Mummy, when we start school, please can we ride our bikes there every day, just like Josie does? No, I don't want to go on my bike. I want to go on my scooter. Do you know, I hadn't really thought about how we'd get to school yet. Um, I know. Why don't we do a test run now? Yeah! Come on my run. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a good idea. I think so. Yeah. Tim, you could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great. Yeah. Yes. We can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah. Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. Yeah. And yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. Not too fast, Tim. Wait for us when you get to the end of the road, please. OK, Mummy! I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Keep good on that new bike, Topsy. Again. Perfect, let's go. Grandmother home! Oh, that was quick. Oh, do you want some help? I came back on Topsy's bike. <laughs> and I came back on Tim's scooter. <laughs> Why did you swap? Just for fun. Sorry. And to see which way was easier. And which way did you prefer, Topsy? I prefer my bike. Oh. Bikes are more grown up. What about you, Tim? I like scooting on my scooter. Scoot, scoot, scoot. <laughs> Scoot, 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 scoot. How was your run, Joy? Yeah, it's great, thanks, Jean. <laughs> Do you know, when your dad was little, we didn't have all these choices. We just walked to school and that was that. Oh, in fact, I brought something to show you. Grandma has some old photographs in her handbag. Let's have a look. What is it on my lap, Tim? There we go. Oh, oh, it's Yep, we've got photographs. Oh, photos of oh, Look, oh. see what we've Look, now, this is your dad on his first day at school. What? <laughs> That's Dad? Yes, didn't he look smart in his uniform? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Got a bit of a big sweater on, hasn't he? I can't he? believe Dad ever looked like that. <laughs> you know, you look a lot like him, Tim. Mm. And look. Oh, what's this? What's Mummy got? I've got... What pictures? Some pictures oh. of me in my oh. school uniform on my first day at primary school. Look, you look so sweet, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you look lovely. I like your school uniform, oh, Mummy. And I can't wait to see you two in your uniforms on your first day at school. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Mossy Doggy. Mossy! Oh, you're awake at last. Yes, Daddy. Is she ready for a walk, do you think? Yes, yes. she's ready. Good, because I have been thinking, Topsy and Tim, we could try walking to your new school now with Mossy, if you'd like to. Walking? Okay. Oh, yes! To school? Yes, it'll be fun. Oh, and we can do a shortcut over the old railway footbridge. Oh, yes, oh. the footbridge near where Mr Rosen lives. <gasps> Mr Rosen, we've forgotten all about our promise to Mr Rosen. Oh. Yeah, we promised Mr. Rosen that every day we waved to him before we go to school on the footbridge. So, Tim, we can't go to school on our bikes or our scooters. No. We're going to have to walk <laughs> without our bikes and scooters so we can yes, walk to Mr. Over Rosen. the footbridge. Yes. And we can wave to him there. Yeah. We can't break our promise. Otherwise, Mr. Rosen will be sad. We can be anything if we close our eyes and dream. Be best friends forever. We like the walk to school. Mummy pointed out Mr. Rosen's home from the footbridge, and we all waved. But Mr. Rosen wasn't at his window today. Do you think Mr Rosen will be at his window to wave to us on our first day at school, Mummy? Yes, of course he will. He promised. And Mr Rosen is a good friend who doesn't forget his promises, just like you two. I'm so excited about going to school. Oh, I know. How about you, Tim? Our school looked really big today, Mummy. 
Yes, Hatcham Primary is a big school. Lots of children go there. But I don't think I want to go to big school. You know, I was really worried about starting big school, just like you. But once I got used to it, I really loved it. Really? Yes, I did. And you will love it too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time, Topsy and Tim. It's the day of your school visit. You'll meet your teacher and all the other children in your class. I can't wait to go to big school. <laughs> I just don't want to go. Oh, Tim. Once you've seen your new classroom and met your teacher, going to big school will all feel fine. It'll be fine. OK, Mummy. OK. Now, Tim, it's time for you to get tucked up in bed. No, no, Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Good boy. Night, Tim. Night, night, Topsy. Night, Mummy. Oh, night, night, my top-tastic Topsy. Good girl. <sighs> Sleep tight. Oh, thank you. Oh, lovely cuddle. Thank you, Topsy. Night, night. Your visit to big school will be really good fun tomorrow, Tim. So you need to get a good night's sleep, OK? And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we had a practice school run. But can you remember the colour of Tim's helmets? Was it yellow or green? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. Tim? You could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great! Yeah, we can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah! Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. Not too fast. I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Okay, wait for me. Let's stop, let's check. Left, right. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Here. Come with me. Yeah. Let's just pop. We're inviting all our friends to our birthday party and we're going to decorate our house. Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party decorations, Grandma? Not yet, Topsy. First, I need my Hello Grandma Hubble. <laughs> oh, not now, Grandma. Oh. Tim's writing his name on their birthday party invitations. Well done, Tim. Then I shall have my Hubble from you first, Topsy, and then with you, Tim. Okay. Come on, Topsy. Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party stuff now? Go on, then. Come on, Mossy. Look. Wow, Tim, can I see all this? And I've finished my writing. Mossy, look. It's special party bunting, Topsy. We'll decorate the room with it for your fifth birthday party. I think Mossy likes it. Ooh, so do I. <laughs> oh, careful, Mossy, out of there, please. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Do you know, I think she might be a bit thirsty. Oh, I'll get you a drink of water, Mossy. Come on. Mossy, a water bowl. Topsy, the 
look, I'm using the orange pen to do the mmm in Tim. Uh, there, done. Look, Topsy, I've written my whole name all in different colours and in my best handwriting. Look, Topsy. Oh, that looks nice, Tim. It's especially for Tony. Hey, Mossy! Can you just please write your name just to hear? In a oh, minute. Let's see. <laughs> In a minute. No, please, Topsy, can you do it now? I just need to fill the bowl. No, Topsy! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Topsy, look. Look what you've done. It's oh, all really wet. Sorry. And the writing's gone all runny. I'm really sorry, Tim. You can do Tony another card. No, I can't, because that was the last one. Oh, Tim, I told you I was sorry. Please come back down. I feel sad that I made a mess of Tim's special invitation for Tony. But it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, I wish Tim would come downstairs now. Oh, leave him for a little bit and then we can pop upstairs and see him later once you've got all these invitations, OK? Look, do you like it, Grandma? Oh! It's Josie Miller's invitation. Yes, that's lovely writing, Topsy. And well done. That's all the invitations finished. But we need one more invitation. We can't give Tony this one. It's all... Wet and smudged. Oh, yes. Okay. I've got an idea for Tony's invitation, but I need your help. Oh, what are we going to do? I'm going to have a look at this. <laughs> Mummy's idea is to make an extra special invitation for Tony on the computer. It's a surprise for Tim. Tim, I've come to say I'm sorry again. I've made a special invitation for Tony. What is it? I made it on the computer with Mummy, look. It's a special invitation, made from a photograph. <laughs> well, Topsy, using a photograph was a really good idea. I know. Open it. Oh, yes, Mummy's written the party things inside. <laughs> Do you think Tony will like it? I think he will absolutely love it. Thanks, Topsy. That's OK. I'm really sorry I messed up your special invitation, Tim. Oh, it's OK, because this invitation is much better. <laughs> but I know how we can make it even better, Topsy. Come with me on the computer. OK. Photos of Tony uh, on your computer, please. Yes, I've got lots. Let me see. Hang on. Do you think you have a photo of me, Tony, and Topsy? Um, let me see. Oh, like this one. I guess that's brilliant. <laughs> that's the photo we should use at the back of Tony's invitation. Oh, look, Topsy and Tim with Tony. That's nice. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five you want to use. Uh, Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Yay! Well done. Number five. Do you want to do one, Tim? Yep. <laughs> number five's a big number. There, now watch your little... Can I have one? We decorate Tony's photo together. And when we print it, it looks really good. Oh, I say. Take it. Well clever. That's who? That's beautiful. Oh. Show it to Topsy. That looks really good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, now, all we need to do is stick it on the back of Tony's invitation. Yes. Okay. I'll get some glue. Get some glue. That's right, Topsy. Oh, Oh, 
Oh, ha! Oh, okay. I'm going to write his name green. And then we can both sign our names. Yes, from both of us. <laughs> In our best handwriting. Yes! That's a good idea. We take ages writing Tony's card. What a blue! <laughs> then I show Tim Grandma's party box. Look at this red party hat. Oh, oh. He's got the wow. Wow. Oh, Look at this green hat. <laughs> Thank you for helping with the party things. <laughs> That's OK, Grandma. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, hats. Can I try one? Yeah, here. Oh, actually, I love the candles. There we go. <coughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're <a> funny, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Grandma said, Mossy's, Mossy's ready, ready for her walk. walk. Mossy's ready for her walk, Topsy and Tim, so shall we walk her to the post box so you can post your party invitations? Yay! I want to post Tony's extra special invitation. And I want to post you? Juicy Miller's invitation yes. through her door. She only lives across the road. Yeah. Please, may I, Mummy? Yes, of course she can, Topsy. We can pop it through her letterbox yes! on the way. Come go. on, everybody, let's go. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we made some special party invitations. Can you remember the number we used on our special invitations? Was it number four or was it number five? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is number five. Watch this. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five you want to use. Uh, Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Wow. Who was it next to me, Tim? I just woke up and she was there. Soft and friendly. Listen, she's purring. Huh. We need to think of a name. What should we call her? Mrs. Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Mrs. Fluffy Boots. That's funny. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Are you lost? Topsy, do you think Bobby will let us keep her? I don't know. I'll go and ask Mummy, and I'll carry on stroking her. Mummy, Mummy! Good morning, Tim. You've got to come upstairs quick. What? What is it? Please come, Mummy. Why? What is it? Come. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. I'll follow you. Go on. Come on. Come. When Mummy meets Mrs. Fluffy Boots, she likes her just as much as we do. Oh, you are a lovely girl. So, we ask if we can keep her. Pleasey, pleasey, double, please. Can we keep Mrs. Fluffy Boots, Mummy? Please. Oh, I'm sorry, Topsy and Tim. You can't. She belongs to somebody else. Look at this lovely collar. She's very well cared for. Mm. 
So, you mean someone has lost her? Yes, and imagine how you'd feel if you lost Wiggles the rabbit. I'd be very sad. Mm -hmm. So would I. Well, Mrs Fluffy Boots' owner is probably looking for her right now. We've got to help them find her. But how will they know she's here? I've got an idea. We could take a photograph of Mrs Fluffy Boots and show all the people down our road the picture. Yes, to see if they know her owner. It's a brilliant idea. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots. We'll find your owner. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Me <laughs> and press that button there. OK. Say nice, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Nice. nice. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> yes! Come on, me, Topsy, let's go, come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes, it's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming! <laughs> We crossed the road safely with Mummy. Okay, let's look left, right, left again. Are we clear? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. <gasps> look, there's Tracy Miller. Hi, Josie. Hello. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Hi. Why have you got that big plaster on your forehead? Yes. It's because I fell off my bike. <laughs> <laughs> we tell Josie Miller and her mum about Mrs Fluffy Boots. Um, but they don't know who owns the cat. No, sorry. Mr Fen might know who that cat belongs to. Why don't you go and ask him? Okay. Over here, Mr Fen! Mr Fen, Mr Fen! <laughs> we ask Mr Fen if he knows who the cat belongs to. Do you know who this cat belongs oh. to? But Mr Fen doesn't know who owns Mrs Fluffy Boots either. I'm afraid I don't at all. Mind you, I've got an idea who might know. Why don't you try Jamie the postman? Yeah, he might be able to help. <gasps> Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Jamie! 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 Get on the paper, please, you two. Okay, Mummy. Please, Jamie, do you know who this cat belongs to? Ooh. No, sorry. Thanks, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank Jamie. you. Right. We're never going to find this fluffy boots owner. Tell you what, why don't we have a break and have some lunch and then we can come back and look for Mrs Fluffy Boots only this afternoon, OK? OK. okay. It'll be all right. Mm. Thanks. We all had salmon for lunch and Mrs Fluffy Boots drank water from one of Mossy's dog bowls. You're happy in our house, aren't you, Mrs Fluffy Boots? <laughs> I wish you could stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's at the door. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this where Topsy and Tim live? Yes. <sighs> yes, we're Topsy and Tim. Oh, well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think you may have found my cat. Mm. I'm Mrs Higgly Piggly, and I live... The in lady the... says she lives at the end of our road. And her name is Mrs Higgly Piggly. Ah, oh, look, there you are. How lovely to see you. Isn't Jamie the postman marvellous? He said if you've lost your cat, go and knock on the door of Topsy and Tim, and here I am. We will miss you, Mrs Fluffy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Fluffy Boots? Is that what you call him? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, Topsy, but Mrs Fluffy Boots isn't a Mrs. It's a Mr. He's a boy. Oh, yes. A boy? Yes. Oh, even better. And his name is Tiger. <gasps> Tiger! Hello, Tiger. Hello, Tiger Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots. Oh, that's splendid. I shall call you Tiger Fluffy Boots from now on. <laughs> Come on, let's get the Tiger Fluffy Boots back in his carriage. Oh, yes. Here Come we on. go. Now you know where Come you on, live. Tiger. There we go. And that's when Mrs. Higgly Piggly said, Please.
please come and have tea with us very soon. Please come and have tea with us very soon, Topsy and Tim. Oh, yes, come and mummy, come and mummy, come and yes, Of course you can. Thank you, Mrs Higgly Piggly. Oh, thank you. Now, off we, we go. go. Oh, good. Will you? Oh, thank, thank you very you much. Too. I'll open the door. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, Bye-bye, darling. Let me take him now. Oh, yes. Got him. Heavy, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Bye-bye, Topsy and Tim. And thank you again. And that said Mrs Higgly Piggly. Was that? Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we found a lost cat. But can you remember what we used to take a photo of the cat? Was it Mummy's mobile phone? Or was it Dad's pocket camera? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Mummy's mobile phone. Watch this. <laughs> yes. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can. But after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots. We'll find your owner. See you later. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Okay, press that button there. OK. Nice, Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Nice. nice. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Topsy, let's go. Come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes. It's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Stop. You brushed your teeth for two minutes. Well done. OK. Bit of a quick rinse. Very good. And dry your mouth. Good boy. Our dentist is going to love our clean teeth. Wow! Yeah. Yes, there you Look are, Tim. shiny. Oh, wow, they're so bright. Come I on. Well, Tim. Come on. Mummy normally takes us to the dentist, but she's away this week staying with Granny Molly. So Dad is taking us to the dentist today. Now, is there anything else we need to remember before we go to the dentist? bring Eddie Teddy and Little Moon Bunny to the dentist with us. Oh, OK. Come on, Topsy. Why do we bring them? Uh, it's a secret. Oh. Come on, then, let's go. Come on, Little Moon Bunny. Little Teddy and you, Dad. Hi, Mr Adele. Hi, Mrs Bear. Hi. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mrs Barry. Mrs Barry. Oh, my goodness, haven't you grown? Our dentist is called Mrs. Berry. Her assistant is called Kenan. And they have a magic chair that goes up and down. Right, let's get started. OK, Twins, who wants to go first? Me! Me! me. <laughs> yes, of course, on you get toys. You get the first chair, right, right, Kenan? Oh, I see. <laughs> this is why we brought your toys to the dentist. <laughs> the first time we came to the dentist, Mummy let us bring our toys with us. And even though we're big now, Mrs. Berry still lets us bring them every time. OK, come on, toys, open up. Open oh, oh, my yes, what do you say? Oh, right, very good. Oh, very oh, good. Very good, <laughs> yes. Topsy and Tim, if your teeth are as good as your toys' teeth, you're going to be dazzling me with your smiles. I told you they brush their teeth twice a day. <laughs> Who's next, then? Who's next? Me! me. Okay, it's your turn next. OK, 
Okay, can we have the chair down, please, Karen? Oh, 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 oh. Now, Timmy, you know what to do. Open wide and say. Ah! 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 Okay, okay, let's have a look. Ah. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yes. You've been brushing very, very well. Now, I hope you haven't been eating too many sweets or fizzy drinks. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, haven't. Good, that's great. Well, if you do, just make sure on those days that you brush your teeth extra well at bedtime. Tim, you have excellent teeth. Topsy, you're next, please. Yes! OK. <laughs> right, Topsy, let's see how you've been doing then. Hi, Here we go! Beep, 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 beep. That's right. OK, let's have a look at yours. Have you been eating lots of chocolate? No. And honestly? <laughs> OK, now, Topsy, you know what to do. Open wide and say... Ah! Thank you. Ah! All right, you can stop now. Let's have a look. Wow, now you have been brushing your teeth very well too. That's great. You have excellent teeth too, Topsy. Well done. Well done. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Topsy and Tim, in about a year or so, you are going to lose your teeth. They're going to start wobbling, ready to come out. Why will they wobble? Oh, it's okay, it's nothing, it's nothing to worry about at all. Basically, all your milk teeth fall out one by one, okay? And then what happens is that gives you time for your big teeth to grow in their place instead, doesn't it, Dad? Yeah, exciting, new teeth. Yeah. Have you got any friends that are a little bit older than you? No. No. Yes, you have twins. You've got a friend called Josie Miller who's nearly six. Oh, yes, Josie! Ah, well, you see, Top Team Tim, losing your milk teeth actually can be quite fun. And I think that you should ask her to tell you all about the tooth fairy. What's the tooth fairy? Oh, I think you'll like to hear about the tooth fairy. <laughs> we can ask Josie about the tooth fairy on the way home. Great. OK, Dad. On the way home from the dentist, Dad lets us call for Josie and she comes to play. And guess what? Josie has a wobbly tooth. It's my first milk tooth that's ready to come out. Look, it's really wobbly. Oh, it looks all strange. <laughs> <laughs> Through to the kitchen, please, you guys. OK. Josie, yeah? do you know about the tooth fairy? Yes, my mum says when my tooth comes out, I have to put it under my pillow at bedtime for the tooth fairy. Why? Why? The tooth fairy will come when I'm asleep and she'll take my tooth. She leaves a coin. Whoa! What does the tooth fairy do with your tooth? She uses it to build a castle, I think. Oh, cool. Wow. Hmm. What does the tooth fairy look like? My mum and dad says nobody has ever seen the tooth fairy. I want to see the tooth fairy. So do I. We asked Josie lots more questions about the tooth fairy until it was time for her to go home and time for our bedtime. All right, now, Topsy. See you in the morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep tight, Tim. Night, Dad. Night, night. Topsy and I have a secret code. If one of us knocks on the wall three times, the other one has to come through. What is it, Topsy? Chattering teeth under my pillow, and I'm going to stay awake all night and wait for the tooth fairy to come and get them. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to get the other teeth. I want to do it too. Topsy and Tim, what's going on? What's going on? What have you got under your pillow, Topsy? Chattering teeth. 
Why? Because I want the Tooth Fairy to come and collect them. <laughs> and that's when Dad said, the Tooth Fairy is far too clever to fall for a trick like that. The Tooth Fairy is far too clever to fall for a trick like that, Topsy and Tim. The Tooth Fairy will only come when there are proper milk teeth to collect. <laughs> oh, I can't wait until my teeth fall out so I can see her. Nor can I. I can't wait to see the Tooth Fairy. I can't get to sleep. OK, well, I want you both to try very hard to sleep so I can tell Mummy how good you're being while she's away. OK? OK. OK, come here. <laughs> Let's get you back to your own room, please, Tim. And that, said Dad, was What's that? that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today, after our trip to the dentist, we looked at our friend's wobbly tooth. Can you remember who had the wobbly tooth? Was it Kerry? Or was it Josie? The answer is fine, Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Josie. Watch this. So please show us your wobbly tooth now, Josie. It's my first milk tooth that's ready to come out. Look, it's really wobbly. Oh, this looks all strange. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Here's Wiggles. If you sit down on the sofa quietly for me, I'll pop him on your lap. Make sure you shuffle back and your knees together. Knees together. Ah. I bet that's a good position. Wiggles, this is Tony Welch. He will look after you. Here we go. There you go. And just give him a lovely cuddle. Oops. Not all rabbits like being picked up and stroked, but Wiggles seems to. Hiya, Wiggles. He likes you, Tony. I had a rabbit. We should get a rabbit friend for Wiggles. Aww, you're so cute and spotty. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What's happened? Wiggles scratched me. Look. Oh. oh. I don't want to hold him anymore. Can I see again? Oh, it's only a little scratch, Tony. I'll get Mummy. Mummy! Being very brave. How's your hand, Tony? All oh, stingy. Oh, it'll feel better soon. I thought Wiggles liked me. He does. It's just an accident. Can you get a plaster for me, please, Topsy? Mummy says that Wiggles might not like all the picking up anymore. I might pick some dandelion leaves for Wiggles. Oh, well done, Tim. I think I'm going to thank you, Topsy. I'm going to have to have a look at Wiggles's. Nails, I think they might need cutting. Please, can I watch you cut them, Mummy? I don't know how to cut rabbit's nails properly, Topsy, so no. I'm gonna have to take Wiggles to the vet to get his nails cut properly. There you go, Tony. All done. Would you like to feed Wiggles some of the dandelion leaves now? No, thank you. I want to go home now, please. I'm sorry Wiggles scratched you, Tony. That's okay, he didn't mean it. Look, Wiggles. After Tony's dad collects him, Mummy phones the vet. Whoa, Wiggles' nails are really long. Good news, Wiggles can have his nails cut today. We'll take the bus to the vet, OK? Oh, Wiggles hasn't ever been on the bus before, Mummy. Well, it'll be fine. Um, I'll just go and find his carry basket. Oh, I know where it is. Oh, do you? Wiggles, I just want to let you know that the bus isn't scary, just sometimes a little bit noisy. Kind of like... Um, um. Pick him up very gently, mm. Tim. And did you know that it can sometimes be just not much, but a little bit shaky? <laughs> then all the people get off at the station and then it goes... Ow! Wiggles! 
Scratched me. Oh, Tim. All right. Come on, Wiggles. That's nice and clean. Mummy cleans my leg and puts on some antiseptic cream. Okay. And a plaster. You know, Wiggles would say sorry if he could talk. I know. But I don't want to pick up Wiggles anymore. Oh, you will, once Wiggles has had his nails cut. We need to catch our bus. Will you please put Wiggles in his basket whilst I clear up these things? Topsy can put Wiggles in his basket for me, Mummy. <sighs> All right, go on. You go and get her to help you and I'll put these away. Topsy! 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 Wiggles just scratched me. Look. Oh, dear. You need to get Wiggles into his basket. OK. Wiggles! Wiggles knows all the best cosy places in our living room. And our kitchen. Mummy says it's important that he can wander around inside and outside. He needs exercise. <gasps> there he is! He's eating grass. No, he's eating dandelion leaves. It's his favourite food. Oh. Come on, Wiggles, it's time to get in your basket. Come on. You're going to have to pick him up, Topsy. No, he might scratch me next. Come on, Wiggles. He doesn't want to go into his basket. Oh, can you pick him up, please, Tim? No, I don't want to get scratched again. Come on, Wiggles. Oh, come on. Wait, I know how to get Wiggles to come into the basket without picking him up. How? juicy dandelion leaves for you, Wiggles. I'll put one in this cage. Come on, Tim, let's watch from in here. Wiggles, look. Wiggles. Wait, yes! He's following them. in his basket. Who picked him up? No one. We made a trail of dandelion leaves that led Wiggles into his basket. He's a very clever rabbit, you know. He is. He really is. I know. And as soon as we get home from the vets, you can get him out and play with him again. I don't want to pick Wiggles up anymore. He scratches. Topsy and Tim, when Wiggles' nails have been cut, you will be able to pick him up and care for him just like you always used to. I promise. Now, who wants to go and catch a bus? Yay! Yay! Come on, Wiggles. Catch the bus. Don't forget Wiggles. I've got Wiggles. Wait for me to open the door, please, Topsy. Good girl. Welcome home, Wiggles. You're such a good rabbit at the vets. Here we go. Should we get you We're out? back. Wiggles was really well Good behaved on the bus. And at the vets, he sat very still when his nails were trimmed. He may still scratch, but only a little bit now. See? His nice short nails. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Why don't you hold him, Tim? There you go. We need to get another rabbit soon to keep this lovely rabbit company. Hello, lovely Wiggles. I'm sorry I didn't want to be with you before. Now I do. And I know you won't scratch me again. Will you, Wiggly Wiggly Rabbit? And <laughs> next time, we'll take you to the vets before your nails get too long. <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. Wiggles, Wiggles is, is a, a very lucky, lucky rabbit. rabbit. Wiggles is a very lucky rabbit, Topsy and Tim.
to have you two to look after him and to have more dandelion leaves for his tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's it, Mummy. What was that? <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we took Wiggles to the vet. Can you remember what we gave Wiggles to eat before his journey? Was it dandelion leaves? Or was it a carrot? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. The answer is dandelion leaves. Watch this. I know how to get Wiggles to come into the basket without picking him up. How? What are you doing, Tim? I'm picking some dandelion leaves. Look, if I put one there, one here, and you can have these. Oh, thank you. One there. Oh, I here. see. We played a trail of nice, juicy dandelion leaves for you, Wiggles. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Ah. <gasps> I'm off me. I'm off me. I love you, Mum. I love you. Oh, where's Mercy's ball? Mummy's away this week, and Dad's going to play football. So Grandma's doing our bedtime. Now, where's my hello, Grandma Huggle Twins? <laughs> Wee! <Squeeze! laughs> I'm off now, you two. Bye, bye Dad. Oh, bye. Have lots Yay! and lots <laughs> of fun with Grandma. Yay! <laughs> Mossy, and I'll get them ready for bed. Thanks, Mossy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye. I know, but I'd like you to help me wash Mossy the dog. Oh, oh yeah! Yes. Would you like to do that sort of bath time? Yes, please! I can't wait to get things ready for Mossy's bath. Here's our bubble bath for Mossy's bath. Oh, that's a nice idea, Tim. But Mossy has a shower, not a bath. And she has her own special doggy shampoo look. Oh, yes. And she has her own doggy towel. <laughs> it's got a dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need to test the water, Mossy. She likes it not too hot and not too cold. I think this is a good temperature. Try yeah, it. Yeah, it's not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> in fact, it's, it's just cold. right, isn't it? It's just right. It tickles. That's good. Well, I think we need to get Mossy into the bath. Mossy, come on. She can. Mossy can use our bath step like this. And then Mossy climbs into the bath. That is a great idea, Tim. But I need to lift Mossy into the bath myself so she doesn't hurt herself. So can you just put the step back? Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Topsy, you can bring Mossy up for her wash now. Topsy. She's in. <laughs> now it's time for her doggy wash. Here we go. So, uh, Grandma gets Mossy's fur wet and we get ready to clean her. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's like jelly. Can we start? You can. Yep, yeah, start. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. That's it on the head. Bubbly, bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubble, bubble. That's it. <laughs> That's right, on her body and then down to her legs. Mossy's enjoying her wash. Mm -hmm. So I know it will make it even better. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim. Actually, that is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. 
Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Oh, I'm all wet. Oh, oh you are. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Now, I tell you what I think we should do. I think the time has come, OK? I'm going to wash Mossy's head and then we can rinse her off. OK. OK. Once Mossy is soapy all over, Topsy rinses her with the shower water. Mossy isn't used to showers like we are. You need to be gentle. Mossy's bath time isn't the same as our bath time, is it, Grandma? <laughs> no. Well ah. done, Topsy and Tim. She'll soon be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. That's probably enough now. Ooh. to get Mossy out now, don't you? Yes. Right. Come on, stand in the head, Tim. There we go. I'm yes. soaked. When Mossy gets out, it's time to dry her off with her special towel. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you got us all wet, Mossy. We <laughs> did, didn't we? She's a good girl, though. Oh, well done, Mossy. Mm. No, I'm well done. Very well Clear up before Dad gets back. Hmm? Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Thank you. I got nothing more. Before we go up to bed, it's time for one last cuddle with Mossy. Oh, you smell nice and clean, Mossy. Oh, lovely Mossy. <gasps> Dad! Daddy's home! Hello, Dad. Topsy and Tim. Yay. Did you have fun? Yes. yes! We had the best bar time ever, Dad. I didn't think it was bath night. No, we didn't have the bath, Dad. Mossy did. Ah. You need a bath, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Football mud. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to run yourself a bath, Brian, before you read the twins their bedtime stories. OK. Tell you what, Topsy, you can both pick a story tonight. What story do you want? Um... Uh, um... Um... Uh, <laughs> When Dad says, I miss Mummy's bedtime stories. I expect you do too. Yes, I do. I miss Mummy most of all at bedtime. Yeah, we all miss her. But there are only two more bedtimes until she comes home. Yay! Yay. I love Mummy and I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you. A hug always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. And a hug <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Do you know, I think Mossy wants a squeezy hug too. Yes! <gasps> Mossy! Squeeze! <laughs> well done, Mossy. You know, thanks to you two, Mossy's had the best day ever. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. <laughs> and, and that, that said, Grandma, was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we helped Grandma wash Mossy. Can you remember which toy Tim brought upstairs for Mossy's bath time? Was it a ball? Or was it a squeaky bone? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is a ball. 
Watch this. Lottie's enjoying her lunch. Mm -hmm. Dino will make it even better. Oh. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim, actually. That is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys cos she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Oh, I'm not wet. Oh, I'm you not are. Up. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Tip, tip. Come on, Tim. Wakey, wakey. Today, Mummy's taking us to visit big school for the first time. And we're going to meet our teacher. Kerry said her big brother Jaden got lost the first time he went to big school. I know. I hope we don't get lost inside school today. Come on. Do you think we will? Morning, Topsy and Tim. Are you ready to see your new school today? Yes! No. <laughs> My tummy hurts, Mummy. Oh. I don't feel well and I want to stay in bed. Oh. You feel fine to me, not hot at all. I think you're worried about your trip to big school. Come and have breakfast. There you go. I'll have your breakfast on the table in five minutes, OK? Come on, Tim! Your lovely fruit smoothie for breakfast. I think it'll make you feel better. Mm. It's yummy, Mummy. Oh, good. Oh. Hello, Jean. Okay, hold on. It's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Bye, I love you. Oh, thanks, Topsy. She's still there. Oh, hi, Jean. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll give you a call a bit later. Let you know how it went. OK, bye. Oh. You seem really excited about going to see inside your new school today, Topsy. <laughs> oh, Tim, why aren't you dressed yet? I told you, Mummy. I've got a tummy ache and I want to stay at home today. Tim. You really do feel fine to me, my twin tabulous Tim. Hmm? Now, I think that your tummy just feels a little bit wobbly and nervous today because of your school visit. But you know what? If you two stick together today, you'll be fine, OK? <laughs> what if we get lost today, Mummy? In the big school? You won't. Mm -hmm. To make sure we don't get lost inside big school today. How? I'll show you. Come with me. This will make me feel better. Okay. We can make a trail in big school today. Why? Ah, that's what they did in the story of Hansel and Gretel. Remember? They put little crumbs in their pockets mm -hmm. and then dropped them out one by one. Walked into the forest. Oh yes, and they followed the trail of crumbs back out of the forest, back home. And when we go into big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. So imagine we're in big school, and I've got lost, but I've left a trail of these blocks behind me for you to find me. Okay. Let's try it. Count to twenty. Oh yeah. No peeping. I promise. I'll follow the trail and find him. Seven, 
all over the floor. I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Like this. Well, it's a very clever idea, but... It's Topsy's brilliant idea. Well, it's a very clever idea. But I'm sorry, you won't be allowed to leave a trail of bricks around Big School. But we don't want to get lost, Mummy. We're doing what Hans and Gretel did. Oh, Topsy and Tim. Please don't worry, OK? You are not going to get lost at Big School today. OK? OK. But... Jaden got lost, Kerry told me. <laughs> no, he didn't get lost. He and his mummy, Dominique, got lost on the way to big school. They couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know where big school is. We won't get lost. Yes, exactly, you see. And Dominique just phoned to tell me that I'm allowed to visit your new classroom with you. I can go in with you at big school oh, today. Oh, great! We won't get lost if you're with us, mummy. Exactly! Now, listen, you need to get dressed and have a slice of toast, OK? How's your tummy feeling? Oh, my tummy's a little bit better, Mummy. Good. Now we leave in ten minutes, Tim, so hurry up. Go up and get dressed. OK, Mummy. We got to big school on time. We didn't get lost. And we ran all the way home to telephone Grandma and tell her all about it. Hello, Grandma. It was brilliant. Our teacher's called Miss Terry and she read us a really good story about pirates. Yeah, here you go, Tim. It's your turn. Oh. Hello, Grandma. Good. Oh, we didn't get lost, Grandma. And the school's really big. It's got two playgrounds and two climbing frames. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Bye, Topsy. Speak to Grandma. Bye, Say Grandma. Bye. I love you. Bye. Yeah, Mummy. Oh, thank you. Thanks. All right, thank you so much, Jean. Bye. I really like our new teacher, Miss Terry. And that's what Mummy said. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time, Topsy and Tim. She told me she's coming to visit us. At our house? Why? Well, it's called a teacher home visit. It's so that you can get to know one another even more. Yes! Are you OK, Tim? I wish Tony Welch was coming to our school, Mummy. I know. But he moved house, remember? He's going to a different school. I know that. Do you like Miss Terry, Tim? I don't really know. Mummy, my tummy hurts again. Oh, Tim, are you a bit worried about starting school again? No, I just think I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has been a very busy morning. Come on, let's make some lunch. Mummy, what's that? Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, before we visited school, we played a game. Can you remember what Tim followed on the floor to find me? Was it a trail of crumbs? Or was it a trail of bricks? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a trail of bricks. Watch this. Tim, why are there bricks all over the floor? 
I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. OK, hurry up, please, you two. Finished. I'm ready to go, Dad. Good girl. OK, things in the dishwasher, please. We're going to work with Dad for the first time today because Mummy is away at Granny Molly's. Dad is the boss at Helpful Drivers Minibuses. Dad? Yeah? Will we ride around in your minibus today? No, Tim. The minibuses have got journeys to make and passages to collect all day. We can't go with them. Then what are we going to do at your office, Dad? Well, I'm going to show you two off to everyone. Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! <laughs> and you're going to bring a toy each to play with while I do my work, remember? Oh, yeah! office today Topsy. to be good. Coming! Wow! When we get to Dad's office, we see the helpful driver's sign and three minibuses. Here we are, twins. Helpful drivers. <laughs> right, team. I need your best behaviour this morning, yes? OK, Dad. Okay, Dad. Thank you. I'll get my work done as soon as I can, then we can go home for lunch and be silly and noisy, OK? High five, yes, Tim. Yeah! <laughs> High five, Dad. OK. <laughs> Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Brian. Oh, you must be Topsy and Tim. Yeah. Yes, we are. I'm Suzanne, one of your dad's drivers. Hello, Suzanne. Suzanne. Hi. What's that? Ah, oh, well, this helps people to get into the minibus. Would you like to have a try? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, right, stand back. There we go. Right, wait till it's all the way down. There you go. Ah, that's it, hold on. Very good. Ready? Pop that down. Yeah. Good boy. That's it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I've got two extra passengers today. <laughs> Do you want to come on my next journey with me, Topsy and Tim? Yes, yes, please, can we, Dad? Oh, I'm afraid not. Come on, you two. It's time to meet everyone inside the office and let Suzanne do her job. Okay. <laughs> there are lots of rooms in Dad's office with lots of people working in them. This one, this one, this one. Oh, could it be? Hello, Topsy. Hello, Tim. Ah, oh, this is Carol. Hello, Carol. <laughs> How does everyone know our names, Dad? Because they've heard a lot about you from me. Come on, Tim, come here. <laughs> oh, is this where you work, Dad? Yeah, this is my office. Is this your chair, Dad? Which one? That, this one. No, this one. <laughs> wow! Cool. Look, Dad, I'm a busy worker like you are. Ah. Hello, someone's calling. I just need to put you on hold. <laughs> Look! It's a picture of us, Topsy! And look, there's a picture of Mummy too. And us again. My turn in the spinning chair now. OK. Hi, Topsy and Tim. I'm Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Why is everyone wearing photographs? Oh, that's just my photo badge. It shows I work here at Helpful Drivers. Kevin is my assistant, and I happen to know he's got a job for you. Who'd like to help him? Me! 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 <laughs> OK, off you go. Come on, Kevin! Spin me, Dad! Oh, 
Dad. Spin. Okay, ready? One, two. I'm gonna have a quick three, spin in your chair. Here we are. Wow. Kevin is photocopying a newsletter for Dad. And he wants me to help. And if you want to pop that just in the corner for me, please. Lovely. And then we'll pull this down. So slowly pull that down. Careful. That's it. And we'll do ten copies of this one. So ten. Ten. And then green. That one. Perfect. Hopefully we'll get ten copies. I make lots of copies for Kevin. And then I have a drink. Topsy! Topsy! Come and see this! Coming! Look, I'm helping Carol. I'm collecting all her pencil shavings and putting them in my rubbish collecting truck. I want to do that. Oh, you can help. There's still more photocopying to do, Topsy. Oh, help, Kevin. Thanks, Tim. It's this way. Down the hall. Helpful drivers, Brian Liddell speaking. Yep. Uh, I can check for you now. Dad. Yep. Shopping. Tim, I'm sharpening pencils for Dad now. Oopsie. Yep. Yep, OK. Read that out to me. Yep. Yeah, it's gone. OK. Thanks, Mr Spencer. We'll be in touch soon. <laughs> OK, bye-bye. I love being in your office, Dad. <laughs> Do you want to answer the phone this time, Topsy? Yes, please. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Just say, helpful drivers and your name. Helpful drivers is Topsy Odell. <laughs> yes, I It's think. Suzanne, the minibus driver on the phone. Oh, hello, Suzanne. She tells me that a friend of mine is on yes. her minibus. She's driving her back now. We all go outside to see which friend of mine is on Suzanne's minibus. Look who I found on my minibus, Topsy. Your friend. Little Moon Bunny! Oh, Little Moon Bunny, I've been so busy, I've forgotten all about you. And you've been on the minibus all morning. Thank you. Good That's girl. OK. Little Moon Bunny enjoyed her ride today. <laughs> and Topsy and Tim have been a real help in the office. In fact, I think they deserve these. Wow! Your very own photo badges. Wow, thanks, Dad. And you? Thanks. Look at that. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> You made Little Moon Bunny a badge. Very good. Yeah. Oh, Mummy's going to be so proud of you when she hears all about your hard work today. Please can we ring her and tell her, Dad? Well... And that's when Dad says... You can, you can tell, tell Mummy yourselves tomorrow. You can tell Mummy yourselves tomorrow, Topsy and Tim, when we pick her up from the train station. Yay! But first... Let's have some of Dad's special spaghetti for lunch after a hard morning's work. And that said, Dad, was that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we went to Dad's office. Can you remember which teddy I left on the minibus? Was it Eddie Teddy? Or was it Little Moon Bunny? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is Little Moon Bunny. Watch this. We all go outside to see which friend of mine is on Suzanne's minibus. Look who I found on my minibus, Topsy. Your friend. Little Moon Bunny! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! We 
off into the shops to buy everything we need for our birthday party tomorrow. We're going to be five! I love my shiny number five balloon. And me. Well, hold on tight to your balloons, please, Topsy and Tim. Let's get them safely in the car. Stick with me, please. When we get home, we're going to tie our balloons to the front door. So people know it's our birthday. Tim, over this side, please. Careful of the cars. Right. I love my balloon. So do I. So excited. Tim, would you hold these fairy cakes for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Mmm, they look yummy. <laughs> yes, they do. Hold them really carefully, please, once I put everything in the car. Yes, because we don't want the cupcakes to get squashed. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. They smell nice as well. Are we going to have a real birthday cake with candles on, Mummy? As well as these cakes? Yes, of course you can. Please, can we have a butterfly cake with blue candles on, Mummy? Oh, no. I would like a dinosaur cake with red candles, please, Mummy. No, please, can we have a butterfly cake, please, Tim? No. We're going to have a dinosaur cake, aren't we, Mummy? <laughs> you will just have to wait and see. Oh. <laughs> now, hold those for me, Topsy. Can you climb in for me, please? Uh-huh. Good girl. Oops. You get into your seat for me. Thank OK, you. I'm going to put my balloon in first. Just a minute, Topsy. Tim, can you carefully put the cakes between the two seats, please? Thank you. Move your balloon, please. Topsy. I can't, Tim. It's too big. Oh, oh Mummy! I can't fit my balloon in now. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hi, Joy. Oh, oh hello, Grandma. Topsy. Oh, my balloons won't fit in the car. Oh. Pass my balloon, please, Grandma. I won't. Oh, I see. You've got a car full for the party. <laughs> I know. What a surprise to meet you here. I have been birthday present shopping, but, you know, I can't remember who for. We know. We know. For us. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at your car. It is so full. How are your lovely big balloons going to fit in? Oh, I have no oh. idea. I know, I know. We could hold them like this, out of the window. Oh. oh, no, Tim, that's a bit dangerous if I'm driving. And they might burst. Yeah. Then how are we going to get them home? Oh, oh, I know. Well, Grandma, you could take them in your car. Do you mind, Jean? Would that be all right? Oh, yes, I've got lots of room. I'm parked oh, just over there. I will. I've got it. There we go. If you could just give them... There you go. That's it. Oh. I can bring them round to your house later. It's not fair. Now listen, take a deep breath, OK? Grandma will take extra special care of your very special balloons, OK? Oh, cheer up, Topsy and Tim. You can help me carry the shopping inside. I'll take the cakes! Oh. I'm going to take the cakes! Oh, I wanted to carry the fairy cakes. There you go, Tim. Right, come on. OK, there you go. Oh, oh be careful with the cakes, please, you two. Oh, Topsy, can you help me carry your bag, please? There you go. Straight up to the house, please, Tim. Oh, OK. Oh, Tim! Tim. Oh, why couldn't I carry the fairy cakes? I'm carrying them. And you're carrying the bread. And apples. But it's my turn. No! I'm carrying them! No! No! no. I was carrying them. It was him. He did it. Alright. No, you push me. Oh, come on, you two. 
It's fine. It's just an accident. But I did ask you both to be careful. It's not fair. It's all your fault. No, it's all Tim's fault. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath and have some quiet time. So please go upstairs. Topsy, can you bring your coat to me, please? Careful of the cakes and go upstairs to your room, please. Oh. We don't like being sent up to our bedrooms. I feel really sad. Oh, thank you. Now, listen, we all get a bit cross from time to time. We just need to take a breath and calm down, OK? But look, I brought you some squash fairy cakes and they still taste really yummy. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yum, yum. Mmm, thank you. Tim, I don't mind if we have a dinosaur cake on your birthday, Tim. And on my birthday. <laughs> no, it's OK. We can have a butterfly cake. I really don't mind. How about a buttersaw cake or a dino butterfly cake? Yeah, yeah. I want one of those, please. Yes, Mummy. A dino butterfly cake, please, Mummy. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, Grandma's here. <laughs> Grandma's here with our balloons. It's Grandma and Mussy. With our balloons. <laughs> Don't forget to hold on tight to the street, Tim. Okay. Oh, my balloon! It got oh. hit! Oh, no! It's gone! My balloon! Oh, it's not fair! Sorry, Tim. And that's when Mummy said, When something like this happens, you just, just need to take a deep breath. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. OK. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. We only need one fire balloon to tie in our front door. Don't worry. Well, let's tie yeah. it on tightly to the door now so this one doesn't float away. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it, Grandma. Was that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were bought balloons for our birthday party. Can you remember whose balloon blew away in the wind? Was it Tim's balloon or Topsy's? The answer is Tim's balloon. Watch this. Now, don't forget to hold on tight to the street, Tim. Oh. Okay. Oh, my balloon! Oh. It got oh. Hit. oh, no! It's gone, my balloon! Oh, it's not fair. Sorry, Tim. Now, listen. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. OK. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon.